Hello. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I will have no bed at the start of the show, please. Do you know how to do that? Oh no! Don't worry, we'll get you Alan Caddick. Don't worry, this is all good. This is all good. <laughs> 49, get in. Admiralty may apply. For more information, see webarnicard.com slash info. Right! Good evening, I'm James Neesh. Donald Trump praised the Prime Minister just hours after an interview came out of him criticising her leadership. He apologised to the PM for the earlier story. Talks at Czech had led to a press conference where both took questions from reporters. The President repeatedly made such complimentary remarks. This incredible woman right here is doing a fantastic job, a great job. I would much rather have her as my friend than my enemy. That I can tell you. Your Prime Minister... I would say the highest level of special. Thank you very much. It's been an honor. Trump seems to believe the son left out the good things he'd said about the prime minister. But the journalist who carried out that interview, Tom Newton Dunn, spoke to Alexis earlier and said it proves exactly what he's oh, capable I don't, of. I don't look, look what he did. By accusing others of Have fake you, you news, going to sit there? That microphone is not great. Thank you, sir. So you have to get quite close. Okay. Yes. We have a couple of minutes. The fact that he just insulted the prime minister. Oh. Thousands have been banging pots and pans through London oh, in protest uh, against Donald Trump. He's now touched down at Prestwick Airport for the, the second news. I'm going to play a little song and then we're in. in central class nice and relaxing. There's no the trick questions. I'm sure you've done loads of these in the States. So it's all... Scottish Labour leader Richard Leonard chill, and deputy leader is the This is such a... This is such a... Don't always say I explain quickly the philosophy of the show. I may have done it in email. So much radio, as you know, coming from America, the same over here, is about Trump and about Brexit and about hatred and fear and what Kath and I try and do is celebrate stuff, you know, and we don't really have that many guests, but we get people on that we like or we like kind of what they're, they're saying or what they're, what they're about and it's just, you know, it's, it's just celebrating, being positive about things as opposed to this constant, we stream it on Periscope as well, this constant negativity that is um, prevalent in the world. So, yeah, we're all good. Oh, I've got to plug my thing in! Oh, I've got to plug my thing in! And the computer up, but the microphone's down. You give me that black look, you don't know what you're doing! There's someone new doing that today. Unfiltered Night Talk, with the original king of unconventional conversation. The Late Night Alternative, with Ian Lee, on Talk Radio. Speakers up a little bit, please. Do you know this song? This is Push It Out of Touch, my Robert Hudson. Awesome. So your was it who was it who emailed me initially? Was it your publisher? I think my publisher did, and uh, but of course you're well known. All the Bruce Lee fans know you. Oh really? Bay Logan. Oh, we have Bay on, yeah. Oh, oh that's cool. They're like, oh you're doing a book, you gotta talk to me. Oh, oh that's yeah. wicked. I heard from a bunch of different people. Oh nice one, man. Um, we had we had Bay on. We had. Um, Michael Work, who does the Clones Cards, which is a podcast about Bruce Lee impersonators. I love that show so much, man. Uh, uh, you know, because there's that whole thing. We'll talk about this on that. We'll talk about this on that. Right. I think they're kind of red. Yeah, it's a massive dynamic explosion. Power Man, uh, how many shows have we um, started with the um, the theme tune to the obscure Goodbye Bruce Lee um, by Candy? What a great piece of music that is. Why the hell are we getting that one out again? I'll tell you why. Because there's a, well, newish. It's been out about a month, maybe five, six weeks. Bruce Lee um, book, Bruce Lee, A Life. It's by Matthew Polly. 
I've got that right, haven't I? You've got exactly right. And Matthew joins me in the studio all the way from... The, you've been... You you live in... You've been to America. You live in America. <laughs> I do. Whereabouts in America are you from, man? Uh, I live in New Haven, Connecticut. Okay. I just flew in here last week for... Uh, a Bruce Lee conference in Cardiff now, this University. Is, this, is, this was um, this was in the week because I looked at this and was thinking, oh, if, if this is a weekend, I'm going. But it was in the week. Yes, it was. What now? Tell me what happens at a Bruce Lee conference because fifteen year old me is fanboying out massively on this. Well, you know, I thought it would be a little Star Trekky, but actually, there's a number of scholars from Hong Kong University, from Oxford, uh, film scholars yeah. and uh, martial arts scholars who came to do papers about. Bruce Lee and his influence on the martial arts and culture in general. And it's, I thought it was awesome because one of the things that uh, I found researching the book yeah. is that he has a huge fan base, um, but he's not really as respected in the academy as I think he deserves to be for his impact. It, well, it, I, I get it. Here's the thing. I, I, I can never, he made like four and a half films. You Basically, know, this, this yeah. is the thing. And the fact that we're talking about him 45 years or thereabouts after he died, with a handful of films, right. the majority of them low-budget foreign films, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, and, and those Hong Kong movies, they, they, <laughs> they were rough. They are rough, but there's, there's just something about them. You know, this guy, by rights, should have been written off in history. You know, he did, he did the, the, the foreign films, the kind of Enter the Dragon, which is a little bit schlocky, really. Mm. But there's something about him. What, what do you think it is that, that, that we've asked this question a lot on this show, that 45 years later, th this guy is still, you know, revered and talked about? I think part of the impact is that Bruce Lee convinced people like you, people like me, we fell in love with him. Yeah. And there's something about his presence on screen that's just pure energy yeah. and captivates people and so i ended up taking the martial arts 20 million different i did it yeah i learned i learned kung fu as a result of bruce exactly yeah. and so he was almost a missionary he yeah. came over and he converted a good portion of the western world to kung fu and introduced it and it, it had been there before but bruce lee is the face that mm. popularizes it and you're right he does have that chemistry in his first i mean it made films as a kid obviously but in his first kind of big big martial arts film the big boss he doesn't do anything for the first 45 minutes. He does nothing. He just stands there very passively. But, you know, and, and James Tien is kind of the star of the first half, but, but all eyes are on Bruce. Right. He's just got that magic, hasn't he? That's what was amazing. In fact, uh, the big boss, he wasn't supposed to be the star. James Tien yeah. had already been booked. Wow. And uh, they shoved Bruce in, and they were trying to decide if Bruce really had the deal, if he was the real deal or not. Yeah. And so, you know, quite quickly they realized that, you know, He's got the whatever that X factor yeah. is that makes someone a star. Bruce had it, and they killed off James Tien, and the, and from there it was history. Bruce Lee dominated the industry. Well, why did you write a book about him? I well, the main reason was a he was a childhood hero of mine, uh, but b a friend of mine said, you know, you love Bruce, you should write a biography, of Bruce. And I said, well, there has to be several good ones out there, right. and and there isn't. Mm -mm. And I felt almost personally insulted that. You know, Steve McQueen has six good biographies about him. Marilyn Monroe has like a dozen. Mm. But uh, any white person does anything gets a biography, but Bruce Lee can't get one. And so I really felt like this was my way to pay back my debt to Bruce Lee, to write a proper mm. biography of his life. Now, you mentioned the, the, the white actors. We'll talk about Steve McQueen in a minute. But, but, but what a lot of people don't appreciate is... Um, the barriers that he broke, that Bruce Lee broke down um, in in America, because of course they wanted him to play, when he was trying to be an actor, they wanted him to be the diddle little and den den, all the chop socky, you yeah. know, with the ponytails, the the kind of the yellow mat, all of that kind of stuff, and he was like, nah, nah, I'm not doing that. I'm not playing those. Right. Slightly racist, traditional Chinese characters. Yeah, he called them Hopalong Wong roles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a great line. And he, you know, he and he would say, "I'm not going to play some pigtail coolie on some wow. Western show or a houseboy." Uh, and in fact, the first role he was offered was Charlie Chan's number one son. This yeah. is little known. And he was going to be the star. And the executive said, "No one will watch a TV show in America in 1966." with a Chinese actor as the star. Yeah. And so he got bumped down to Cato, 
uh, in the Green Hornet, and he was furious. And he said to the producer, "I'm not doing this if you make me some houseboy role." Yeah. And they and the producer's like, "We're going to make you the weapon. You're going to yeah. be as important as the Green Hornet." And that's how he became a star initially. And then when that show got canceled, he had four to five years where he couldn't book anything. Mm. You know, he was one show a year, um, and. There, he did one Western, which is funny because none of the other Westerns would let him have a short haircut. <laughs> and his, his hairstylist was Jay Sebring, who was, mm. uh, who was killed in the Manson murders. Oh, of course. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And Sebring was the one wow. who introduced him to Coburn and uh, McQueen. He was his connection into that celebrity culture. Um, so he has this really mod stylish yeah. haircut in this Western TV show, but basically he couldn't get booked. And it, and almost out of frustration, uh, he ended up going back to Hong Kong, and that's how his career. Well, this is, and this is, and by the way, the, the Green Hornet. It's not aged brilliantly, no. But Bruce Lee is so cool in that. That's he right. is, and there's a lot of him hanging back and then just exploding into to bat. And if you want a, a real treat, uh, 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 the episode of Batman that's got uh, <laughs> the Bruce crossover, Lee, yeah. Oh, it's so good. Where, where I think Robin beats Bruce Lee up, doesn't he? And so the story behind this is the first script, uh, they're visiting Batman, and Batman's the bigger show. Yeah. And they write it so that Kato loses to Robin, <laughs> and Bruce throws a fit. He's like, I'm not doing it. No one would believe I wow. would lose to this guy. Uh, and so the producers come down, and they have a discussion, and they basically have have a Mexican standoff as the end. And neither one wins. But Bruce was very sort of aggressive about not letting a Chinese character be treated as yeah. subservient. Um, we talked about the, the barriers he broke down going to America, but then when he went back to Hong Kong, mm. didn't a lot of kind of Chinese think he was he was too American, he was too Western for them? And that's what's sort of amazing about Bruce's career. In many ways, he's almost a post-racial figure because yeah. he grew up, he was Eurasian. Um, his ancestry was, his grandmother was all English. This is the stuff you found out exclusively in this book. No one knew this No before. one knew this before. Everyone thought his uh, grandfather was German, and a uh, German Catholic priest was one of the stories. <laughs> Turns out his grandmother's English, his great-grandfather was Dutch-Jewish, and so he, from a very early age, had discrimination for not being Chinese enough in mm -hmm. Hong Kong. Then he gets discriminated in America for not being white, then he goes back to Hong Kong and they say he's too westernized. Mm. In fact, there was a huge scandal that occurred because he grew out a full beard. And most Chinese men can't grow out of full right, beard. Yeah, yeah. And so when he did that, uh, they criticized him for not respecting elders and tradition. Wow. And so he faced a lot of sort of, uh, of criticism. And I think that's why once he was asked, do you think of yourself as Chinese or North American? And he said, I like to think of myself as human because under heaven, we're all from the same family. <laughs> What a, what a message. And that, that, and that, you know, we were saying something very similar on this show the other day, you know, with, with, with Brexit and the World Cup and all of this stuff that I couldn't really care less about. I, we, human beings, man, you know, yeah. once we realised that. What was his connection with the Kung Fu television series? With the, 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 we went to David Carradine. Was he supposed to be doing that? So I, I researched the whole thing. Uh, one of the myths is that he wrote it. He didn't actually write no. the script. He had a different project called The Warrior, which uh, apparently is going to be on Cinemax American TV next year, Wowzers. based okay. on his original treatment. Um, wow. But he went in to audition for the part, and I talked to the TV executive at Warner Brothers who auditioned him, and he said, oh, <laughs> this guy Tom Coon and Bruce Lee kicks open the door, comes in with his nunchaku, and starts whirling it around the guy's face. And 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 Tom Coon is like, slow down, slow down. Wow. Like, so Bruce slows down and is talking to him, and uh, Coon's impression was he had great energy, he was really passionate, tremendous charisma, but he felt his accent was too thick. Right, okay. Which is a weird thing to say because when I hear Bruce speak, yeah. I don't hear, I hear a slight accent, but nothing too thick. Yeah. And I think what it was, though, is that deep in their subconscious, they knew they didn't want to cast a Chinese guy in the part. Right, okay. And, and so they, they did George Takai. They went through all the actors and Asian actors in Hollywood, and they went, nope, 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 nope. And then they got to the white actors, and they said yes. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, it, America. I mean, well, saying that, saying America wasn't ready for a Chinese lead then, I can't think of that many series... From recent time where you've had a Chinese lead. There's that, a couple, possibly. Yeah, just very recently, uh, Fresh Off the Boat 
uh, is one of the first right. comedies to have it. And then Filthy Rich Asians is this new movie that's going to come out, which will be, you know, most of the parts will be Chinese. Uh, Kung Fu was a breakthrough. And then after that, um, because there were a lot of Chinese parts underneath David Carradine. Uh, but they were all with the pointy hats. Yes. And the, the, the bowing and, and getting beaten up by the cowboys. And then David Carradine comes and, and does saves his them. He, The yeah. white guy saves of the Chinese he does. guys. Of exactly. Course he does. And, and, I think part of the reason why your very first question, why Bruce Lee still stays with us, is because not only is he the first to star in a Hollywood movie, but he's almost pretty much the only one. I mean, we only have Jackie Chan. Yeah. And 45 years later, you can't think of another romantic, heroic no. lead as an Asian actor. And you mentioned Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan's accent I struggle with in a lot of movies. Some movies it's clearer than others. But a lot of movies I struggle with, with his accent when he's speaking English. That's right. And and uh, one of the great advantages Bruce had is he grew up uh, wealthy. And so he went to schools where English was the language being taught. Right. And, of course, Jackie Chan grew up in the Peking opera tradition where he didn't go to school at all. Yeah, uh, And so... So uh, I don't think Jackie would succeed at all, except for the fact that he's a physical comedian. Yeah, and he he plays the Buster Keaton that's the clown. Lang- that's the language, and that's so the language is all physical, and the words are very minor. But that's why Bruce works. Okay, we got Matthew Polly here's book Bruce Lee: A Life Is Out. I've tweeted links to it. I'll tweet them again in a little bit. This is the late night alternative on Talk Radio. Talk Radio, digital debate me. for the UK. Okay, good. Oh, man, I'm, we'll I'm, I'm, I'm remembering all this stuff from uh, the deep dark resources. Yeah, this is great. This is great. What fun! At Selco Builders well, Warehouse, we've got real builds on a wide range of trade quality building products. In July, we've got a pads load IM65 nail kit for just four hundred thirty-nine ninety-nine yeah, yeah, extra, yeah, plus seventy pounds worth of free parts, plus an extra battery and cleaner. Now that's a real deal. We've got even more real deals at Selco Builders Warehouse. The books are terrible. Dad. They're terrible and they're done by Everyone hates it when their board runs yeah. slows down. I mean, there's but with the ultimate it's, speed it's guarantee, that, that only from Vodafone, you get super fast broadband speeds or money off until it's fixed. And our pay monthly customers can get super fast fiber home broadband for only £21 a month. The future is exciting. Ready? They all have home. these biographies. Eighteen month agreement subject to credit check and availability. New yeah. and upgrading yeah. customers only. Terms apply. Well, done Visit Vodafone.co.uk slash broadband. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, someone wants to do a documentary. But you need an SUV. Group, so we'll see. Oh, okay. Why not have both? There, there were a couple of them in the eighties. The were. Maserati of SUVs. Well, actually, there was, there was For a couple of them. Fifty-six thousand six hundred and ninety pounds on the road. Bruce Lee, the one. Yeah, that was a good one. Percent finance. Or maybe I think it was the first time we'd seen outtakes from Game of Death. Based on PCB sales only until the thirty-first of August, twenty eighteen. Minimum 20% there's, there's deposit, been, 24 month yeah. term, 10,000 miles per annum, subject to status, participating dealers only, right, okay. Maserati Financial because, uh, Services. So is now you're going yeah, to work time? Like Maybe I, it's um, coming home I went time. to New York a couple of weeks ago. Or, to see some if you're enjoying some new time, but I went out on a mission to find um, to your tax credits. Uh, Angela Mao's your world isn't Chinese right restaurant. Did you go there? So I went there, yeah. yeah. She wasn't there, That's but I had a lovely lunch and I got speaking to her son George and he just said, you know, your mum's a legend, man. I just, I've come all the way from England and I'm, I just kept wanting to come and eat in her restaurant and send on my best to her. And, I mean, her story is incredible. That whole yeah. sort of rediscovery two or three years ago. By the way, there's a legend in this weird feeling restaurant in my own familiar. You know? But, uh, uh, I just met her recently. Right, and the she's World absolutely Cup fabulous. The keeps really. On giving. And does she put it on? Does she get that people still love her? Is she, is, 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 is she so far removed from that part of her history? Uh, every once in a while people have come with like a Right, and she, she gets this kind of shy smile. The radio like, show for people who know the best part of the day. Oh, here we go, here we go. The Late Night Alternative with Ian Lee on Talk Radio. We'll get you talking. Um, I'm joined by Matthew Polly. He's an author. He's written a book called Bruce Lee, A Life. He's written other books, Tapped Out. We might talk about that in a minute. I was just telling Matthew that when I went to New York, um, as you would have heard, dear listener, I, I went to, um, the, when the Monkees concerts were cancelled, I went to this restaurant, this Chinese restaurant owned by Angela Mao, who is, you know, was uh, a, a rarity, a female kung fu star who was excellent as well you know it wasn't just a token woman she was incredible she did films with bruce and with jackie chan and all of these people then she vanished off the face of the earth and a couple but two or three years ago 
story came out saying, hey, you remember that woman who was in those films? Um, she's got a restaurant just outside of New York City. And it's and I went and saw her. You went and interviewed her recently, didn't I you? I did. I talked to Angela Mao Ying, and she's she's as charming as you could ever hope. Wow. And uh, some uh, friends of mine brought a poster, and she took photos with them. And she kind of has this, you know, it's like uh, someone who was so famous when she was in her 20s and mm. has left it behind, mm. and you're sort of reminding her a part of her youth, and so there's a kind of joy, but also a slight embarrassment. She's she's absolutely delightful, and you can see, when you meet certain people, you're like, I see why you were a star. You're right, she's still got that vibe. She's got that She's got that oh, little bit of extra that you know that I'm she was so somebody pleased, special. I'm so pleased, because when I went, she wasn't, I just went on a whim, and it took me a couple of hours to fight. It, it is, right yeah. out of the way. Yeah. Um, and I got on, a tr I tried to do the subway, and I couldn't do it, then I got on Uber, and we got there. And she wasn't there, and I didn't expect her to be. Every time, every, every time a tiny Chinese woman with glasses came in, I kind of <laughs> went to stand up. And in that part of town, that happens quite a lot. There's yeah. a big Chinese community. It is, yeah. But I didn't speak to her. I had a lovely lunch, and I spoke to her son, George, and right. I just said, look, man, I'm, I'm from the UK, and I just want you to know that I think your mum is fab, and she was really important to me when I was growing up. Mm -hmm. and, and he was over the moon. I mean, that must be weird for him as well he, he was saying that fans he, he was saying fans from all over america and when i said the uk he was like what you've come from there for this and i said yeah man it was great food as well it was. it's a it's a great chinese restaurant uh what happened is her son uh, immigrated over here and opened a restaurant and right. was having some trouble and she came over to help oh, him out good for her so you've got that chinese family thing that uh, goes on did you get to speak to any of bruce lee's family because we've tried to get shannon uh, uh, his daughter on the show and linda on the show because they do a podcast they do and the management said, yeah, we shall write down, send us an email, tell us what the show is, what you want, and we'll pass it on to them. Never heard from them ever again. They obviously <laughs> were not interested. Did you get access to them? I did. I interviewed Shannon and Linda. Wow. And I talked to his older sister, Phoebe. Mm. Uh, and I briefly chatted with Robert, although I didn't interview him. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, I got to have uh, chats with all of them. And were they... <sighs> What do they, th it, it must be difficult for the widow of someone who died 45 years ago and the daughter to keep going back, keep going back and, and talk, you know, how, what's their relationship with their history? Well, I think it's interesting because Shanna now runs the Bruce Lee estate. Right, yeah. And so, uh, this is her job to go around and talk right. about her father. Um, uh, Linda's mostly retired, and so it took a while to arrange the interview. Uh, what struck me about uh, Linda is the degree, the amount of love she still has for him. Mm. Uh, and it made me think, he must have been a pretty good husband, <laughs> because uh, I think 45 years later, my wife would be, have moved on. So <laughs> <laughs> I think, uh, so she really, she really, she, she can quote things that he said mm. from the past, and, uh, she just, she really thinks he's amazing. And it was important for me to get that kind of feel of, you can get a feel of who someone was through the people who love them. Mm. And uh, I got a real sense of sort of, he was very devoted to her. Uh, and, and he was serious about making her happy. And he did. She was, she loved him. Mm. Despite the fact, we know that, that, that he died um, at a, a house of a mystery, his mistress, yep. Betty Ting Pei, Chinese right. actor. Um, but in your book, you, you've found out that there were other affairs going on, which isn't actually that surprising, is it, when you, you kind of know a little bit about him? That's right. Yeah, I mean, he grew up in Hong Kong, where his grandfather had 13 concubines. Mm. It was just sort of accepted that uh, a, a man who's successful has more than one relationship. And then, of course, he goes to Hong Kong in the swinging 60s. Mm. Steve McQueen's his mentor. Um, but no one had really covered any of that. And so... Uh, one of the interesting stories was uh, the actress Sharon Farrell, who was in the movie uh, Marlowe. Okay, the, yes. Bruce's very first uh, debut, where he has like... Is that the one where he jumps off the roof? It's yes. Exactly. Yeah. Three, he's got like three minutes of screen time with James scene. Garner. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, and so uh, they met on set, and they, they a thing got started. And then her next movie was with Steve McQueen in The Reavers, and this thing started with Steve. And so for a, a while, the two of them were competing over the wow. same the same woman, and she ended up picking Steve. And and Bruce said, "I know he's such a big star, but someday I'll be a big star too. Won't you wait for me?" <laughs> and you get a sense of it was like high school, right? Wow, you yeah. know, two guys who are who both have a crush on the cheerleader. 
And I think Bruce's view uh, very much was, you know, a, a, it's very kind of 1950s madman view. Like, mm. you're a dedicated husband, you earn, you love your wife, but when you're off at work... A man has needs, and, you know, you've got to go and get them where you can. That w I think that was very much the view of that time. Yeah. And he... he and so it was very typical. And when I discovered, I was like, of course. Yeah. You know, why I wasn't shocked or anything. But it's interesting that I think a lot of um, people he had these relationships with were afraid that Bruce Lee fans would be upset. Mm. And so they didn't say anything for a long time. He was um, very hip and, and very um, exotic when he moved to the States. And you mentioned Steve McQueen and James Coburn because he set up a martial arts school. Again, uh, the, the Chinese furious that he was sh he was sharing this stuff with Westerners, you know, this great Chinese secret. Uh, how did he manage? To, how did he get in with Steve McQueen and Coburn? Because they were big stars then. They were huge stars, and that's one of the amazing things about Bruce is he had so much like interpersonal charisma that mm. he could go and charm the biggest box office stars on earth and have them want to learn from him. Uh, his his access was through Jay Sebring, right, the hairdresser, who died in the Manson murders, uh, and Sebring. They were all his clients, and he started to teach Sebring. Sebring started to brag about him to his clients, and one by one, he picked them up, and so. So during this period where he couldn't get any parts, the way he kept the rent going was by teaching uh, uh, Coburn for like $150 an hour wow. in 1967. So it was like $800 an hour it wow. was to, to train with Bruce. And he tried, uh, he, he used those relationships to try to advance his career. Yeah. Did you speak to Coburn? Coburn had passed. Oh, when did he, when did he, hang on a minute, James Coburn's dead? <laughs> what, what the hell? When did James Coburn die? I think it was a bit a while ago. No! Yes, I think You're so. joking! Yeah, I know. I'm, oh, I, Matthew! I, I could be wrong. Someone can call in and tell me I'm God, wrong. Someone, can we, can, Catherine, can we, we find Google out? We gotta Google that one. I'm first of all, is James Coburn dead, or was he just ignoring Matthew's calls? Oh, that could be. He's dead to me. And if, <laughs> <laughs> if, uh, if he ignored your calls, he's dead to me. And when he died, because this is, this is a huge... I was only thinking about him the other day, thinking, you don't hear much from James Coburn these days. You may have cleared up that mystery. That yes. could be... Kath's about to type up... Well, hang on a minute. He's definitely dead. If what What year did he die, Catherine? No! 2002? No one told me? <laughs> we you, got, were, you weren't at the funeral. You dude, didn't get invited. <laughs> we've got to end this show. I can't... I know. I can't it's, carry it's a lone note. Funny you mentioned the, 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 the funeral, because... Um, we we talked about the the Bruce Lee clones on this show. Yes, uh, 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 the, uh, and there's a brilliant podcast, the Clones Cast, which is a great listen. And and how, I I in the wake of Bruce Lee's death, Hong Kong went. Hang on a minute, we're losing loads of money. Oh, let's just get people who look a little bit like them, call them Bruce something, and put them in the film. And there were there were literally hundreds of these, and Bruce Lai and Bruce Lur and Dragon Lee and all yeah. these people. Yeah. They, they tried it with Jackie Chan for a while. They, they tried did. to make him Bruce Lee for a yeah. while. Um, and in so many of those films, even in the Game of Death, there's I'm always I was always surprised as a kid. There's actual footage of Bruce Lee's funeral mm. and Bruce Lee's corpse in his open top coffin. How the hell? How have, how, how does that pop up in so many films? And boy oh boy, that's dark. Putting it in the Game of Death, a film about him that he died making. Yeah. How did they get the clearance for that? So, uh, I, one of the people I interviewed for the book was Raymond Chow, who, who is, wow. who is his boss. Yeah. One of the last interviews he ever did. And, uh, he knew, I think he knew inherently that he was in trouble when Bruce died. <laughs> 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 the okay, yeah, the yeah. golden goose was gone. Yeah. And so he was going to milk that for all he had. And yeah. so they sent a camera crew to the funeral and also the funeral in Seattle. And there's there's photo there's video of Linda on the plane flying from Hong Kong to Seattle with the with the coffin in <laughs> the Jeez. cargo hold, and he put uh, because he had this footage of the funeral, they just stuck it in the game of death. And you know everybody who loves Bruce Lee, that moment and when you see that is like just makes you cringe. Um, but you know. Hong Kong, like, people say Hollywood's harsh. Hong Kong doesn't mess around. I, if there's a buck to be made, they figure out a way to do I it. I love Game of Death. Yeah. Right? And do it's, you? It's, it's a mess. Right? Yes. As, as an adult, I recognize it's a mess. As, uh -huh. a, as, a, as a 14 year old kid, 13 when I first saw it, yeah. I thought it was brilliant. Now, for those who don't know, he filmed about 45 minutes of footage, didn't really have a plot, then went off to do Enter the Dragon, then died. And, and Raymond Chow went, we've got all of this footage what are we going to do and they craft 
the most ham-fisted, <laughs> clumsy story about Bruce Lee, <laughs> but he's called Billy Lowe, uh-huh. and the, the, of course the, the mafia are after him, so he fakes his death, and then he goes on an undercover mission. But it's done before CGI, so they just use scenes from Bruce Lee films and pretend it's part of the narrative. And it, there's, isn't there one scene where there's, there's like a picture of Bruce Lee stuck on a mirror? Yes. So he, And you see the guy's body. I go on, explain that. Yeah, I mean, they didn't know how to do it back then, and they, they made it for a buck fifty. <laughs> and so they, they have a scene where he goes, and it's the actor pretending to be Bruce, and looks in the camera, looks in a mirror, and then it cuts to the mirror, and there's just a photograph of Bruce. <laughs> It is the cheesiest thing you've ever it's seen. Amazing. And also as well, this is another thing that's nuts, right? So it's, it's got about 45 minutes, an hour's worth of Bruce Lee footage. They put about eight minutes of that's it in, right. the, in the movie. Yes. They so cut. that moment go, oh, well, here comes Bruce. We're going to see real Bruce. Oh, that was over quick. They don't put it in. No, they had, they, had, they had 30 to 40 minutes of footage that he had filmed. And when you get to those five minutes, that movie completely transforms. Oh, comes alive. And what you realize is... There's just something about someone who's a, a genius. Yeah. And it's like Barishnikov. Like, you just watch him or Gene Kelly, like, dancing. You watch Bruce Lee do Kung Fu, and it's not like anybody else. It cannot be imitated. Mm. And that whatever he had that made him that magnetic just transforms the movie. And suddenly you go from this schlocky blueploitation thing, and then it's like, whoa, this is the best thing ever. And that's the thing, man, about it. You know, people go, what are you talking about this boring, you know, karate man for? Because it, it's not, it's, it's, it's dance. It's, it's, it, you, you mentioned Gene Kelly. It's dance. What he is doing, at his best, um, and, and there's, there's a couple of fight scenes that are a little bit rugged, but at his best, um, you know, some of the scenes in Enter the Dragon, those, the, 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 the uncut scene with Kareem Abdul Jabbar, you know, the seven foot tall basketball player, some, the, 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 some of the scenes in Fist of Fury, God, I'm salivating. It's dance. It's beautiful right. performance, isn't it? And so the two things I think why he's so interesting still is because one, people, uh, many people don't know, you do, but he was the Hong Kong cha-cha champion. Cha-cha champion, of course. Yes. That's right. And so they were, he also was the expert in the jive, the boogie-woogie, <laughs> the lindy hop, like whatever fashionable dance was occurring his teenage years, he, yeah. he became an expert at. He came to America and his girlfriend at the time in college before Linda, uh, Amy Sambo said he would study how African Americans danced mm. and walked and incorporate that into his wow. move. And so he has the kind of rapper swagger as yeah. well, but he cut his teeth as a choreographer. Yeah. And I think the, the, the thing he was clearly most advanced at at the time of his death was choreographing these fight scenes so that they had a rhythm and a flow and the pauses. So the whole thing is beautiful in and of itself, yeah. beyond just the technical skill of yeah. the strikes and the kicks. And also, when it's a Chinese crew filming it, it's better. There's, there's some great scenes in Enter the Dragon, but the fight's a little bit clumsily shot. When you've got the Chinese camera operator, you know, director of photography and the director who know what it's all about, it, it, the whole thing just, just comes alive. Couple more quick questions. Now I'm going to send you on your way. Is there any? You know, this is the, the question every Bruce Lee fan wants to know. Is there any other footage out there that we've <laughs> never seen? It, we're all waiting for that great lost fight scene to come up. Is there anything? So uh, fans got their hopes up in the '90s when Bay Logan, who you've had on, mm. found the full Game of Death, mm. which was about 60 minutes of material. Uh, and then, of course, the Pierre Burton interview mm. was found by John Little. Uh, and since then, there's been nothing. From what I've heard. It, if it existed, no one knows where right, it's at. Right. Uh, and I certainly asked all around, and no one's hiding it. Let okay. me put it that way. Okay. So it might be in a box somewhere on Hammer Hill Road in Hong Kong, but um, as far as we know, there's nothing nothing out there. Okay, now listen, you don't just sit around and write books and go and interview people. You kind of get dirty and sweaty for your books. And I was reading up about you um, this week, Tapped Out. Yeah. This is where you... Now, what, we're a similar age. We're sort of late 40s? Yep, late okay. 40s, yeah. And, you know, we, 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 I, with no disrespect, you, you don't look the fittest guy. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> but you went and did mixed martial arts. Sure. Are you nuts? I know. That stuff crazy. is proper dangerous. Yes. Uh, so my very first book I studied at the Shaolin Temple in China. I studied Kung Fu with the monks. Wow. And that was when I was 19 or 20 and okay. I was still fit. Yeah. Uh, and then when I was about 35, I was looking for another book project and they were like, well, you wrote this once. Why don't you try it again? Again, and I was like, mate, 
I got a gut now. I'm not going out there. Yeah. And they're like, no, no, you should. It'll be funny. A middle aged guy trying to learn mixed martial it's arts. Like middle aged guy getting the shit kicked out. Of so, it. That's be a laugh. so I was at you know extreme couture. Uh, actually, Randy Couture's son, Ryan, was my training mm. partner and just knocked the tar out of me. Uh, and by the time it was over, I had a cracked rib and a broken nose. Like, my nose is permanently crooked. And uh, <laughs> so when they said, what book do you want to do next? I was like, one where I don't get punched in the face. <laughs> so half the reason I did Bruce Lee was because, you know, I could just sit there and read yeah. the books and talk to people. But yeah, I did I did do the Got in the Ring, and I think it helped to understand sort of where Bruce was coming yeah. from. That, those, um, what is it? Is it the Long Island tournament with the thing where he's doing the one inch punch demonstration? Yeah. That, I mean, that, go and find that on YouTube, guys, because, because it's, it's, it's just out of this world, yes. isn't it? The power of that man. Yes, he found a way to sort of tap, a, be able to like make his body relax and then drive all his force into a single point mm. at just the right instant, and he could knock men who were eight inches taller and 100 pounds heavier back like eight ten feet it's quite remarkable it's incredible yeah i tried to learn how to do it i can't I, do it at all i had a book on, i had a book on it when i was 12 like I, james demille yeah yeah. yeah yeah i'm in my bedroom practicing the one inch punch <laughs> <laughs> getting nowhere i was 12 um okay final question then we're gonna let you go uh, uh, matthew uh, um how did he die? <laughs> no. <laughs> was it the vibrating palm? It was there, Dimak. There is, there is this, <laughs> the, the so, death touch. There are so many theories, right, about Bruce Lee dying. One was that he's not dead and he was just went into hiding for 20 years or something. Right. Um, one that was a drugs overdose. Uh, and the one is, is Dimak, the, the vibrating hand, where someone comes up to you in the street and sort of just gently taps you at a certain part of your body and that will kill you like two weeks later or something and, and it, it's even better it's when it, it's in totally in the control of the person doing it wow and, i love this and so and it was that that killed him right yeah, of course or ninjas oh. i'm not sure uh <laughs> but i tell you i actually do come up with a new theory in the book uh, okay don't tell us that don't tell us leave i won't that, ruin it you have to read the book leave that as the as the great mystery but you're okay. saying you're saying it's not the vibrating death touch i i you know i'm I, if I had to bet, I'd bet against that. You're controversial. Man. I know. Uh, who's, who knew we were going to fall out? Um, Matthew Polly, uh, Bruce Lee, a life. Um, the websites and Twitter and things, if people want to get in touch with you, where should they go? Um, Matthew E. Polly uh, at Twitter and also mattpolly.com is my website Beautiful. if you want to find more about the book. Brilliant. When are you going back to the States? I'm going back uh, in two days. Okay. Well, uh, in, enjoy the, the, the weather. I, I'm, I'm going to go see the Trump diaper <laughs> balloon. <laughs> can, you can you take Trump back with you? I mean, he's, God knows what he's saying. He was, I, I'm here doing advance work for Trump, didn't I? He, <laughs> he was. I mean, I, I don't really care either way. You sure? He's out there with our queen, and he's walking in front of the queen. No one walks in front of the queen. Off with his head <laughs> is what I say. Um, Matthew, it's so nice to meet you, brother. Thank you very much. Best of luck with the book. Um, let's play the adverts. This is the late night alternative on Talk Radio. Across Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Oh, bless you, man. Um, Talk Radio. We'll get you talking. You wanna, you out at Green Flag, talk we think the AA okay. are great. Anytime you want to come on, if you have an open invitation. Right? They'll give you unlimited call-outs when you get in a pickle. Mmm, pickle. And they cover 100% of the UK. Very good indeed. So why do we think that is so great? Because Green Flag do all of this too. And we'll have you AA renewal quote. Green Flag. Common sense to the rescue. There may be a charge for call with the same problem. Savings based on our closest equivalent UK vehicle cover for vehicles 10 years and under. T's and C's apply. The crowd is electric. There's a real air of anticipation today. And here it comes, our midfield general, the new Hyundai Tucson Go Edition SUV. Oh, and it's, and it's kind of great it's having a proper deal with chat. Yeah. Packed with extra kit, including oh, sat nav with live traffic oh, updates yeah. to help you stay on the ball. Plus our ever-present five-year unlimited manager warranty yeah. to keep you match yeah, fit. Is. But football fan or not, with Hyundai, you could all make the most of our World Cup Tucson Go Edition. Discover more at Hyundai.co. Hey, so nice to meet you, man. Real pleasure. Uh, welcome back we anytime. Thank you. Turbo from Evo Sticks, full name on the radio, were not allowed. Okay. We can say that Sticks Like Turbo is an amazingly fast what setting and easy. Nice we can say Sticks Like Turbo can be used in all weather conditions. We can even say Sticks Like Turbo holds up to 300 kilograms in just 15 minutes. We just can't say what Sticks Like Turbo sticks like. But you can Sorry, guys. There's no chat on Periscope. Because there's just a group of people on there 
who are arseholes. So on you. Time to join the millions fuck of you, people that fuck make you. happy with and Zoom Nathan video and all those other people. Stunning HD you've blown video. it. Never going to be chat on Periscope ever again. Unlucky. If you want to chat, if you want to type chat, if you go to the YouTube device, channel, youtube.com slash Ian Lee, look for the so live video. There's the nice chat there and there'll be none of that nastiness that's been occurring. Sorry to the people that suffer um, as a direct result. I apologise, but... Zoom the show is a pace of peace and love, and I'm not going to allow. This I'm not going to allow bullying. Family right. day out at Alton Towers Resort. Days out are even better when they're half price. We're with you. With British Gas Rewards, you can enjoy 50% off top UK attractions. British Gas Rewards. Join today. Terms and date exclusions apply. Greetings, Earthlings. We come in peace. We wish to communicate with your leader. I'm Howard Hughes. Join me this Sunday night from 10 for a trip into the outer limits. Untwist the lid on Talk Radio's specimen jar of the psychic, the supernatural, and the simply unexplained. The Unexplained with Howard Hughes. Sunday night from 10, Earth Time, on Talk Radio. The Late Night Alternative with Ian Lee on air and off the leash on Talk Radio. Oh three four 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 nine nine one thousand. Matthew Polly P O L L Y. The book is called Bruce Lee: A Life, um, and, and it looks like at last there is a decent Bruce Lee biography. Thank you, everyone indulging me. I know not everyone is as obsessed with uh, martial arts films as I am, but I, 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 you know, we just like we want to make this show celebratory. Um, and when someone does something, cele- you know, good, we want to celebrate it. Um, you can listen to us on uh, DAB, download the app or go to talkradio.co.uk. You can watch the show as well on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Ian Lee. It's also on Periscope. I've turned off the comments on Periscope just because there's uh, Onion and Nathan and a couple of really nasty, nasty people on there. And I've given them chance after chance after chance. So we won't be having any more comments on uh, the Periscope page. Sorry about that, guys. But this, exactly the same feed gets streamed to the YouTube channel. So if you go there, you can chat there, type chat there, and what have you. Hey, Boyley's in the house! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was one. What a nice man. So lovely, and he was very grateful, and he really enjoyed it. Oh, good. What a nice, nice man. And I could have spoken to him. I could have done three hours with him. Um, and it, it's, it's always lovely when, you know, listen, he's, we very rarely do we get people on who are hawking their wares. And thank you to Greg, by the way, who, who, because Matthew and I were emailing and then it kind of, for some reason, an email got lost in the ether. So we, I think we both thought, oh, fine, right, the, the other's not interested then. And it was just a mistake. So thank you, Greg, for putting us back in touch. Um, and, um, uh, it, 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 you know, when people come in selling stuff, quite often they can, particularly Americans coming in selling stuff, they can be a little bit, I'm here for a job, let's get this over and done with. But he was an absolute delight of a gentleman. He's the kind of guy I'd like to have as my friend. I think he would like that too. Well, I, then, I, 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 I'm, shall I go again? <laughs> <laughs> That's what's going to happen. Shall we dive into the calls? Yeah, let's. Let's go to Nigel in Maidstone. Good evening, Nigel. Good evening, Ian. Good evening, Nigel. I'm sorry I'm a bit, a bit tired, but I've been, I had to cycle to see my mum today. Did, did yeah, you? Hasn't it been hot? Is, well, it's, it been hot? it's been humid today and there was a little yeah. bit of thunder earlier on. Oh, I didn't get, we didn't get any here in, no? in Tunbridge Wells, in Tunbridge Wells I was today. Oh, okay, well, we were in uh, really London in today. Wells. Have you been to Tum- Tunbridge Wells? Oh, I think I have been to Tunbridge Wells at some point yeah. in my life. I couldn't tell you what well, was there. I think there's a boot. expensive place. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I had um, ice cream on the pentiles, which was, was lovely. You ice put ice cream on your what? £3.50 for ice cream on the pentiles. It's just that, you Why know, don't you, you have, have it on a cone? <laughs> You've heard of the pentiles, haven't you? No, mate. Oh, well, I don't know what they are, but they used to get water out the ground in that oh. place. Well, here's the thing. I dream of being able to buy an ice cream for £3.50. I live in Windsor. That's quite... So it's more expensive up It's there, more right? expensive. Um, although, saying that, guys, I will not... Well, I live in Slough, actually. But in two weeks' time... Expensive price. Exactly. In two, mm. week, in two weeks' time, I'm getting the keys to my new house. Party, party, party of mine! Big party of mine! Oh, is, that, is that in England? It is in England, yes. Yeah. Well, why don't you get a place in uh, LA, California? Quite a long, quite a long way to travel each day to do this show. Oh, it is to do this show. 
Oh, it's quite long. <laughs> you you think you're tired cycling to see your mum? Imagine me c- flying. Yeah. My arms will be knackered. Well, she's not too bad. She's about. She's um. She's no worse. She, she's a little bit better. What I said. But well, that's uh, all we can ask. For. To, she's got to get herself walking a bit more. A bit more mobile. Then yep. she can come home. It will be patient. It's okay. I, I don't need to worry. It will take time, but when she, it will mm. take time, and it's great. And I don't need to hurry. Hello, you're breaking up. So, I've been worrying too much, Ian. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta yeah. let it go, yeah. let it go. I've been worrying too much. I said, you know. Yeah. Um, do you want to sing a song? I was thinking. No. Would you like a, um, a Frank Sinatra song? Um, by Frank, yeah, definitely. Uh, what about my way? Oh. I, I know. Well, oh, um, my way is one of my favourites. Yeah, are you going to play it? Your favourite. You're not going to sing along with it, are you? Can you hear? It's okay, it's a sig- can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, the signal's breaking up a little bit, Nigel. Well, I better get near the window because it's it's a mobile phone. Better. Not really. Yeah. Maybe I think the atmospherics. I'll put it to the other. That's better, isn't it? Um. Uh, well, we we can hear you more. I don't know well, if that's I better. You, I can hear you better now. Perfect. Oh, can I first of all talk about something else? That I, I did, um, Ian. Did you, did you kick a cat to death? No. No? <laughs> It'll be funny <laughs> though, Meow. <isn't> it? <laughs> no. Meow. Ow. Meow. Oh, yeah, I would have kicked a cat years ago, but not, not, not really. But, I mean, you do think about it, don't you? Oh. Um, Kicking a pussy. Um, oh. Okay, Nigel, um, on that bombshell, we're going to say goodnight. Thanks very much for calling. The let's Trump go, effect. <laughs> let's go to, uh, let's go to kicking a pussy. Wow. Let's go to Alan Caddick, Alan, Alan Caddick, Alan Caddick, stick it up your bum. Oi! Hiya, boss. Hiya. Well, we had a tiny bit of rain in Birmingham today. Yes. But I, I've forgotten what rain felt like. You, you've you forgotten what it sounds like? What it felt like. You've forgotten what it felt like. Well, there's one way to recreate it. Have a bath. Well, no, a bath doesn't feel like rain, does it? It doesn't feel like the tinkle tinkle of rain. Could go for number one. There we go. You could do that. Um, now, Alan. Yeah, I'm still waiting for you to send me details so I can send me a Bond story. Didn't, oh, you got, you got more Bond? Oh, I'm waiting for you to send me your email so I can send you the oh, Bond story. Oh, could you, I, I, well, I, should I tell you my, I'll tell you my email now. Yeah, I've got a pen and so I can just it down. You, I, I'm going to tell you my email, then there's a thank you. I've got a little present for you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So my email is Ian, I-A-I-N. Yeah. At Ian Lee, I-A-I-N-L-E-E. Yeah. Dot com. Ian, Ian Lee dot com. Send me that email, buddy, with the James Bond. You know you're, 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 uh, you've gone viral. I didn't know that. The video, you, you should follow me on, t- on Twitter unless I blocked you because, um, the, the video of you reading the intro to your James Bond story has gone viral. It's had over, last time I saw, it had over 950 views. Blimey! Yes! Oh, I'm shocked. Mm-hmm. And that's not even your present. I know. Would you like your present? Yes, please. Would you really, really like your present? Yes, please. Are you sure you'd like your present, Alan? Is it, is it good? It is very, very good. Hang on, just stay there a second. I'm just going to get your present. Holly, could you put your headphones on and uh, turn your microphone on, please? Holly, we've got Holly who's uh, doing, uh, twiddling all the, the buttons and the things. Hi, Good. Holly. Hi, uh, <laughs> Alan. That's okay. You, you're young and excitable and I was in the jungle. I get it. <laughs> now, I hope I'm not in any way betraying any confidence. Am I allowed to say what's happened to you? Oh, of course you can. We're very open here. Holly was dumped by her boyfriend today or yesterday? Oh, no. Yeah, last night. What a oh, shit. Oh, sorry to hear that. Oh, and his name was Ian as well. I don't know if I should be saying that, but... Holly, you said you kid, but I bet I bet he spelt it wrong, didn't no, he? No, he spelt it like you. Oh, what yeah. Are wrong and then yeah, yeah. Well, so you button it right. Well, Holly, listen, we like to treat everybody on this show as equals, and so I would do this. What I'm doing, if 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 Kath's family fell apart, you know, due to a train wreck or something, I would do the same thing I'm about to do to you. Mm-hmm. Alan, yeah, here's your present. It's Holly. You say hello to her. 
Hi, honey. Oh, hi, Alan. How are you? Not bad. You're all right. Yeah. You, you know, you're one of my favourite callers on the show. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that, but you are. You always bring a smile to the show. Oh, uh, wait. Do you see the trial? The what, sorry? The trial of Alan Kelly. Oh, yes. I did see a bit of that on Twitter. I think I was asleep, but I did hear that. Well... Um, Tell me really how it ended. Worry, cause I was found not guilty. Oh, is that why you're calling tonight? Well, he didn't try to ban me for ten years. Ten years? Hope you told him no. That's if I was found guilty. Oh, Alan. What have you been up to today, Alan? Well, I've been looking after my mum and dad. Oh, they all right? Yeah, they've not been too well recently. Oh, could I maybe come around for a cup of tea? A biscuit? <laughs> If you can get to Birmingham. Yeah, I'll get the train up. I mean, what's the time now? It's ten. I finish at one. I sleep yeah, in the station. Eat you by ten a.m. tomorrow morning. Back in London for my evening shift. Who, who, who are you on with tonight? Tomorrow night. Oh, tomorrow night. But the badass women, Michael Graham. Mike, Mikey Graham. Michael Graham live from America. That one. Not with Mike Graham. That's on in the mornings. No, no, no. Different. Tune in tomorrow, ten o'clock. I have to tune in on my DAB radio or online or on the app. Oh, Alan, thank you. You made me smile. Yeah, oh. I think you've made Alan. Alan, <laughs> haven't you got a girlfriend? Oh, Alan Kelly! <laughs> Alan. She's, she's more video call mate. Oh, so that's not cheating then? It's not cheating. No, different postcodes, not cheating. What happens in the video calls, Alan? Well, there's a six-hour time delay. Oh, stop it. Yeah? There's a six-hour time delay. Well, that won't ever last. Holly's on the same time stream as you. In London, Alan. Mm. Well, if Holly wants to send me on London, I can come down. Sorry? If Holly wants to send me on London, I can come it's down. Sorry about that, Alan. We've got to go now. So we'll move on there. Look, everyone coming down. You took that too far, young lady. Too far. How dare you? Inviting Alan Caddick down to the studio. That was sexy nuts? harassment. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, listen. You, you know Superman's in trouble for saying he doesn't want to ask out any women in case he's case accused of rape. rape. Right, OK. Well, two, two things. First of all, the way you don't get accused of rape is don't rape women. And and secondly, we're showing that um, actually being slightly sexy and sexually inappropriate can still be fun. It can still be fun. Hashtag... Us too. That's what we're. That's what we're here. Well done. Well done. Brackets. Then. Hashtag not me. Um, speaking of sexual harassers, um, it. <laughs> and for those who may wonder what I'm talking about, I'm David Babcock, and I got my willy stuck in the Hoover. And that's true, isn't it, David? Yeah. No, never mind that. I haven't got a girlfriend. Sorry. I've not. I've not got a girlfriend. <laughs> you don't count Henrietta Hoover. Stop it, you! Uh, all right, um, now David Babcock, and I, I've just I've, I've just seen what it says on the screen. So, so uh, apparently we might get Chuck Winkle a bit later on. Oh, good. Ugh. He was supposed to come on just now, but I'm, I went. <laughs> but David Babcock sneaked I went, in. I went to the wrong line, so I'm sorry about yeah. that. Sorry, we'll go to Chuck as soon as we can. I went to the wrong line, Chuck. So you stay there. Maybe we'll come to you after eleven. So, yeah, right. so, so, but David's on the line now. Me, it's me. You don't. <laughs> well, you're, you're, I, I, now, so I was speaking to my friend Watco today. Oh, yeah. And I phoned up Watco. And Watco said, Watco said he was standing in a field. This is absolutely true, right? Before I saw you at Costa, right? Watco said, I'm standing in a field. You'll never guess who I'm looking at. I said, who? He said, I'm looking at David Badcock. I went, yeah. no, you're not. And he went, yeah. And he handed the phone over and it was David Badcock What's in that? a... In a field. What's going on in the fields of wheat? It's not none of your business, really. <laughs> oh. He's a bit punchy tonight, isn't he? He is, isn't he? He's crappy. Um, David, are you calling in because someone a couple of days ago said they thought it was um, the guy who used to, Ray, who used to be a copper, he's, he got the sack from that for being inappropriate, and he's now training <laughs> to um, beat up prisoners. Um, he said that he thought you were, you were fake, you were a character. Right. So, uh, so uh, uh, who, uh, who's saying uh, yeah, that here? This uh, Raymond, not the character. Sorry, Raymond Maltitalic. Raymond's not the character. <laughs> oh, but what is he saying? I don't know. There was a lot on the end of it. So you're, you're not you're not playing with the Hoover again, are you? 
No, no, I've, I've eaten some um, corn on my cob and it's uh, a bit dodgy. Okay, right. It's given me the wretches. Okay. Um, so, uh, right, so what are you saying? Just try and speak a little bit more calmly. Right, uh, Oh, David! No, 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 that's not me. That's David, me. turn that off! Right. Not David! That is a sound effect and you know it. David! Not to bring on my numbers. Turn it off, thank you. For goodness right. sakes, man. Right. Jeez. I'm, I'm sick of that and I'm, I'm sick of people saying that I'm a character. How do I prove that I'm not a character? Maybe I take uh, George out on a date. Maybe what? I take the, the lady who was just talking out on a, a date. What do you think her name was? His, his step one. Jaja. No. Jaja. Jaja Binks. Uh, <laughs> Try again. Yeah, um, Get it in. No, that wasn't her name. It was the lovely uh, Javina. No. J Javina. <laughs> right. David. No, no. But stop. Again. Will you stop doing that? I, I tell you, that's not not me. For my goodness man. sakes, man! No, it's, it's not on my knob. I well. <laughs> oh. Oh, Christ. I th have you finished? Well, I think so. I think so. It's, uh. <laughs> outrageous behaviour. Outrageous. Uh, we took things a little bit too far. Hey, Richard Bacon's very poorly. Yeah. I saw he was on a, he was on a plane coming to Bricks. He lives in New York. On a plane coming to Britain, and he, we got ill on the flight, and was whisked off. And well, they, they originally they said it was pneumonia, and then they put him in a chemically induced coma. But it, is he out of the coma now? He's improving all the time in intensive care now. In te here's the thing: people say intense, oh, intensive care. Intensive care is 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 like a really fine line between life and death. Yeah. It, 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 when they said my mum was going into intensive care, I didn't realise what that meant until I went in and saw people die. You know, it's that, it's that fine line. If you go one way, you're dead. You go the other way, you're alive. So say, saying you're in intensive care, that's a big deal, man. Yeah, his mum says um, he's on oxygen, ventilation, lots of antibiotics. Um, the doctors have said he's very distressed and confused after being in a coma for a week wow. and we need to keep take, talking to a him week? and reminding him of where he is. Yeah. For, oh, well, listen, he won't listen to this. Um, but uh, I don't expect to, but uh, send out some healing energy, you know, to, to Richard. I like Richard. He's always been very, very kind to me. Um, so I'm just sending out some positive. I sent him a little email as well and I said, look, no need to reply. I hope things are improving. If there's anything we can do to help, let, let me know. Uh, he'll, he'll get that at some point down the line. Um, but that's, um, that's where, so was it pneumonia? And also, also, here's the, here's a question for you, Catherine. What is pneumonia? I thought it was like a really bad cold. No, it's a lung, a lung infection, isn't it? Is it? Mm -hmm. I don't know. This is why I'm asking. I don't yes. know the answers to these questions. Yes. It doesn't say. Um, I like Richard Bacon. He's a he's a he's a good lad. And um, just hang in there. Doesn't say what he wants. Hang in there, man. And we, we we wish you the very best of luck. And I'm sure it'll all be fine very very soon. And uh, we will of course let you know, dear listener. Um, we've got no calls lined up, which is great. Uh, you know, it's always a bit tricky after we've had a guest. So we'll, we'll kind of restart the show after the news at eleven. But I've got a minute to tell you. Uh, there are podcasts aplenty out there at the moment. There is, of course, the best of this show every single day. There is an hour-long uh, interview that we did yesterday with Matt Haig. Um, and you can get the, the, the Late Night Alternative podcasts on iTunes or Acast or your usual podcast provider. Type in Ian Lee, Talk Radio, and, and um, it'll come up. If you can subscribe, that's great. If you get it from a place where you can leave comments and reviews, that's great. Also this week... We put out the other show that Kath and I do, independently of this place for the moment. Uh, we put out um, The Rabbit Hole, but it was a slightly different rabbit hole, yeah. in that it's about hanging out with Gary Glitter fans. You gonna say, were you going to say something? No, it's, it was something that we were planning to make into a series of films about kind of niche hobbies. Well, no. Uh, people who are absolutely, you know, devoted to certain things that other people don't understand. And it, so we've done one on cosplay that we've not put together yet. So we were just testing the water. Really so we this put one. this out. We're very proud of it. Is it pre-recorded news? I got to go a little because I'm going to be a little bit late on this one. I'm saying if it was live news, I'd have had to end it there. But it's pre-recorded. I got a little bit of leeway. Take your time now. Relax. Um, so yeah, so it's it's me hanging out 
with Gary Glitter fans and asking them why they are still, how they can still be fans after, you know, he's been sentenced to prison a couple of times for, um, for child rape. Um, and some of the answers are really interesting. Some of the answers are really, really annoying and really upsetting. Um, and I think you'll find it interesting. We're really proud of it. Uh, you can get that again on Acast, on iTunes, your usual podcast provider, type in Ian Lee or Catherine Boyle, or Rabbit Hole, something like that. And there's about 60 of these episodes. More of them, they're all quite good fun, but this one's a little bit heavy. Uh, this is the Late Night Alternative, 0344 499 1000. I'm Ian Lee and Catherine Boyle. Speak to you after the news. Talk Radio. We've got entertainment. Get the hell out of my studio, woman. Talk Radio. What makes a Vanarama van make your business look good business? What about not needing a big deposit? What about how affordable it is? You can get a brand new Ford Transit Custom for just £239 a month. What a price. What a mighty good price. Business users, initial rental £1,500 plus 20% back, 35 months. Admin fee £165 plus 20% back. Conditions apply. Go to vanarama.co.uk and lease a Vanarama van. Cast your mind back and think... Were you ever contacted out of the blue for a um. pension review? <laughs> Were you advised to move your work or personal pension into a SIP, self-invested personal pension? Yes, I was. You could be due thousands if you were missold. Money Redress are trusted claim specialists in pension and investment mis-selling. They'll manage the whole claim for you on a no-payout, no-fee basis, so you can't lose. Text WIN to 85077. To the McCulloch man, his McCulloch lawnmower is like the finest footballers across Europe coming together to get the job done. And the morning challenge of the tough, unruly grass facing him, that's like the local pub team. Pathetic. He'll cut them down to size long before the midday kickoff. Game over. Get your McCulloch lawnmower and other garden power tools at good DIY stores nationwide or at McCulloch.com. McCulloch, the power to get the job done. Done. It doesn't matter how our customers feed back to Gavin, us. just fucking phone in, man. Stop Which is why back. we've added Come on, the guys. Ford Transit don't, Courier don't, don't to the dramatize. transit range. Don't drop It's not hardworking, versatile, and reliable as the rest of the transit What a man, range. what a man. I'm, I'm, what a lovely man. That was, quite, that was an interesting, I know it was quite a niche yeah, chat, but it was, it was quite broad. So when you're delivering sourdough to Swindon, T-shirts to Tooting, or doing plumbing in It was broad enough for other people to get it, wasn't it? That's what I was really trying to do. When business demands, we deliver at ford.co.uk. Ford. Together, we go further. Across the UK, online and... Yeah, don't let you just shout. I can, I can do that. Radio I can do on that. the hour news headlines. Good evening. Oh, I've got press on! Donald Trump's hailed UK... No beds! No beds! ...highest level yes. of special. He apologised to Theresa May after <laughs> criticising her Brexit plans, claiming to have been the victim of fake news. After talks at Chequers, he and the First Lady met the Queen at Windsor Castle. He Actually, I used to is a to the top of bus stop. This is very, very much the icing on the cake. Um, wonderful, spectacular scenes of the Queen greeting him at Windsor Castle must be pretty daunting even for a President of the United States. Not because I'm lanky, because I'm place. Thousands have been banging pots and pans like through him. London in protest against Donald Trump. Oh, look. His policies are dreadful. <laughs> Homophobia, the racism, <laughs> the <laughs> uh, policies, all of those sorts of things. You can tell by his Twitters at night that he just has no it's idea. Yeah, well, well, well you have no idea what Twitter is, you silly sausage. So you know, climate change, the Paris Agreement, uh, starting a global trade war, building walls, the immigration ban, it goes on. <laughs> Police believe the nerve agent which killed a woman in Wiltshire came from Mate, a I'm a bit busy. which they found in her <laughs> partner's <laughs> house. Don Sturgis passed away on Sunday after being exposed to Novichok and her boyfriend Charlie Rowley remains in hospital. Charlie the government is about to spend £50 million on grammar schools, but not everyone believes... We didn't ring you off, Gavin! You dropped off, man! As it will probably for end crying up out loud! ...with more money. Chris McGovern is chairman of the Campaign for Real Education. We need hundreds and hundreds more grammar schools particularly in deprived areas 
The comprehensive the school system is massively selective. No, mate. It depends on where right, you're putting a little bit of fucking if effort. If you buy a house next to a good school, you go to the good school. But if you're a poor family and you buy a house, or you can't buy a house, I'm in a good mood because I'm getting my house keys in two weeks. I'm not, I'm being a charming boss, the kind of fun guy everybody wants to hang around with. FIFA's annual awards event. The 12 boys and their coach were asked to attend the World Cup final in Moscow on Sunday. Sunday, but are still in hospital. Your weather showers easing tonight, a sunny and warm weekend ahead. Odd shower possible in the southeast tomorrow, but remaining very hot. Claudia in Scotland and Northern Ireland. Claudia's in Scotland. Across the UK, online and on DAB. The wild man of late night radio, Ian Lee. A differently interesting nocturnal emissions from a legend of late night radio. On air and off the leash. The Late Night Alternative with Ian Lee on Talk Radio. Thousand is the telephone number. The Late Night Alternative. My name is Ian Lee. Who are you, lady? Oh, I'm Catherine. There we go, you see. Dreams can come true, guys. Look at me, babe. I'm into you. Um, you give us a call about anything. I kind of had some stuff. Oh, this is the thing. And, and Gavin and Dredge, stay there. We didn't cut you off, Gavin, so get over yourself. But here's the thing, right? So we've got this new thing, the, the logbook, okay, where um, we, we started with Eben, and it's a, it's, a, it's a nice book. cost me $25 in New York. It's, it's um, a moleskin. It's a proper one. And we send it out to you, dear listener, and you, your family, your children, your grandparents, your local shopkeeper, whom, whomsoever, fills in each day what we don't do on the show in minute detail mm. so that when did, what did you just touch your tip for i didn't you did you I just hoiked my top up no you I didn't before, give everyone before that you just you just grabbed your boob no, I didn't. You, you, you saw it youtubers you just grabbed your boob what no, was that for and i'm sorry to be so personal but i saw you just grab it are you touching yourself up in I there i went i touched my knee no, your knee is i'm not gonna confuse a knee for a boob not a second time <laughs> <laughs> um, so we said it was this nice book and the first person was Eben and Eben had it for about four or five days and he wrote in what happened and we don't look at it Catherine and I will not look at it until New Year's Eve okay if we're doing a show then um, and it came back and then we sent it to Gerard in Scotland Silent Gerard Silent Gerard so Gerard phoned us up a couple of times and he said oh yeah, I'd like the book if it's, uh... so we said yeah no problem he was the second so we sent it to him right when did we send it to him like this time last week yeah something a week ago We've not heard anything back from Jared. We don't know if he's got it. We don't know if he's dead. We don't. We don't know. We don't know anything. So Gerard, we don't know if his real name is Gerard. I've got a feeling. I've got a feeling. And this is part of the joy. Is the um, um, jeopardy? The jeopardy of the whole thing is. You know, will we ever get it back? But I expected that jeopardy to come into place. Uh, a lot later than the second person. That's what I, I and, and, and we don't have to go. So, Gerard, if you're listening, for the love of all this is holy, could you give us a call and just let us know if you've got the book? And if you know Gerard, can you go and throw bricks through his window, please? That's what I'd like. Um, Dredge, do you know Gerard? Do I know Gerard? No, but I'd be happy to do the next bit of the log. Board. We haven't got, well, first of all, right, get to the back of the queue, buddy. Second of all, you'll get you will get your turn one day. Trust me. But we, but we kind of, uh, I think we've got a third person lined up. Haven't yes, we? we've Lou. got the, Lou's lined up. But, but so what? We, we don't take. We don't take. I'm at the back of the queue. No, no, no. You're not. There is no queue. Lou, the queue is Lou. Right? It's a queue for the Lou. Right? Um, okay. And the queue. No one else can be added to the queue until Lou has got the book. Once Lou's got the book, then the next person that phones us up. And there's loads of people tweet. Jasmine has tweeted. Oh, loads of people tweet. Oh, can, can I have the book, please? No. When she's you... great. She, she's my she's my favourite caller, Jasmine. Okay, I've muted her on Twitter because she's nuts. <laughs> Uh, yes. No, but she, she that's is. Why, that's why she's my favourite caller. <laughs> she is a great caller. She because you, you 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 literally have no idea. I what don't she's... know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, love I love her because I love her because she she sounds so innocent and nice, and she's always talking about death. <laughs> she is Jasmine. I'm you going are... to kill you, Dredge. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that, that. that doesn't that doesn't sound like her because I can understand the words you are saying. I'm going to kill you, Dredge. That's better. <laughs> um, so listen, when we if we ever get this book back, and I don't want to buy another one because. Uh, but I might have to. Four ninety nine. Four ninety nine. No, I want it. It's, it's a, I want it to be a nice book. I want it to be a thing of beauty, right? 
so if we when we get this book back uh, and it's sent out to Lou, then whoever calls us next, then get then they get it. But we need we we really need Gerard to get in touch and let us know where the book is. If he's got the book, is he going to send it back? Is he going to hold it hostage? So Gerard, please, God, I, I beg you, man. Anyway, Dredgington, what dost thou have for us this eve? Well, I, I was thinking that um, talk radio could do with a bit of publicity. You know, it needs to be a little bit more vis- visible. No, we like so to keep this radio station just just amongst friends. <laughs> right. <laughs> but I was thinking what you could do is a talk radio fun day out. <laughs> <laughs> Already this sounds terrible, but go on. Like the old Radio One Road show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I know you all... What, a bit pervy? So well. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so what I was thinking, you could turn up at different seaside resorts yes. with a day of entertainment for the holidaymakers. So, you know, Julia... Julia could start off with, you know, a lively discussion with the audience about Brexit and yeah. maybe play a few records. Yeah. Eamon Holmes could come on and charm the crowd with his wit if he turns up. We could have um, Howard Hughes doing some spooky stories. Because <laughs> um, that's all they are, spooky stories. Uh, spooky stories. Uh, either of the Michael Grahams could come on. Um, yep. Well, let's, let's could, put the interesting one on. <laughs> you, you could do a few jokes from your comedy stand-up routine. Thank you very much indeed. My mother's the only woman I know, which is... Um, uh, which is a bit sad, really. Thank you. Yes, go on. Oh, dear. That's why I used to, used, to, used to stand up in clubs in front of people and say those words and expect... Like, no, I, th- I think that would be a good, you know, a good day out. James Whale could come on and... Well, I've never heard him, but, you know, I'm sure he could do something. Call James Whale, show on Talk Spot Radio. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. On medium wave. That was one of his jingles. And then, when I was at LBC... We used to have a kid that would phone up and sing that to us. Just a kid. <laughs> Called James Wales, show on Talk Spot Radio. <laughs> song. Yeah, so we could get the crowd singing that. Um, all right. Fine. It sounds like a lot of fun. Tell you what, you start and we'll join you. If you put it on, um, <laughs> if you organise it, Dredge, then I'm up for that, brother. Totally. Okay, well, you know, I'll, I'll see, I'll see, I'll see what I can do. That means nothing. He's going to do nothing. That's what he means. Um, I'm going to make a balloon of dredge. Yeah, um, wearing well a nappy on his head. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going through that again. No nice one, dredge. Thanks, man. See ya. Up you are. Let's go to Gavin. Good evening, Gavin. How's it going, Ian? It's going very well. We, we didn't cut you off, man. No, no, you didn't, man. I, I think the phone just died. Well, OK, well, let's stop telling everyone we cut you off. I didn't tell anybody. Yeah, you did. You told my producer and you told the people in YouTube. No, I didn't, man. Yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah, you did. Um, no, I just said the phone. Anyway. Well, I mean... <laughs> yeah, you did. Anyway, what, what delight would you like to um, thrill us with this evening, sir? Well, I'd like to thrill you with the idea that I've got to go to... a place called Tottenham Hale on Sunday. Yeah, no Tottenham Hale, yeah. Um, I don't know where that is. It's in London. And I'm going to buy a new car. Okay, what, okay, well, it's in, it's, are you going to Tottenham Hale to buy the new car? No, I, I need to go from Tottenham Hale and, um, walk into Tottenham. Yeah. (laughs) I don't know anything about it, and I'm really quite nervous of going on my own. Oh, don't be such a pussy. What are you nervous about? Um, going on, on, um, trans, like, um, transport my own, and going to a place that I've never been before. Well, well, no, okay, but that's, but what are you nervous about? Um, getting off at the station and meeting somebody that I, I don't know with a certain amount of money, and, um, I'd, I'd really not, I'd really rather not do it on my own. Well, what are you meeting them with money for? Because I have to buy the car. Right, so as I said, are you buying the car from there? Um, he lives in Tottenham, this gentleman, and he says it's a five-minute walk from Tottenham Hale. And how do you know, th- how do you know this gentleman? He was on Auto Trader. I've got a feeling you're gonna get robbed, a bump on your head and the money will be gone. 
and that's why I don't want to go well, on. No, no, I've just got a very. I've, I've just got a, somebody by my side. I've just got a feeling that you have a very adventurous life, and you're now saying you're going to North London to buy a car off a bloke you don't know. And I just got, f I just got the vibe, Gavin, that you're going to come back and say you got beaten up and robbed. So, um, I, I, so. No, um, um, what I'd really like is, um, if any, if anyone out there lives anywhere near Tottenham House, no, 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 nothing no, no. better to do on no, a Sunday. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to allow that because we don't know no, you. You don't know them. They could rob you. You could rob them. We d we just don't know. So I'm not I'm 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 not going to allow that. Mike, here, do you want to know what my suggestion is? Yes, please. Don't go. You live. Where do you live? You live in. I live in Stansted Mount Fitchett. Right. So why are you going to Tottenham to buy a car that you've not you've not seen it yet? No, I've seen the pictures. And mate, that's not. Um, I've I've spoken to the gentleman. You, that's not how you buy a car, man. Well, mate, my, I'm on a limited budget, aren't Yeah, you? I know, but you that's know. not how you... Do, you don't go and meet strange people with pockets full of cash in parts of London you've never been to. That's not how to buy a car, and that's not in any way a criticism of people who are on limited funds. That's just common sense. Um... The thing is, you ask for advice from us, and you never listen to the advice from us. No, um, I think, Ian, maybe it's just a test of my bravery. No, I think it's a test of your stupidity. Um, no, um, I, I disagree because I do need to get a car and the, the one that I um, had the bad luck with was, was shared between myself and my mother. And this one is, this is all my money. This is a grand of my own money. Here's the thing, here's the thing. Uh, carrying a grand of money in your pocket uh, 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 in London is a stupid thing to do. Stupid. It's, and that's not even me being rude to you. I'm saying a fact. That's a dumb thing to do. Yeah, I believe you. And yet you're um, still going to do it. Yeah, I just... Wow, I, I can't wait for the call on Monday about the robbery. I just wish there was somebody to come with me, that's all. Here's an idea. Why don't you find a car near where you live? Yeah, I've, I've checked it all out. The nearest one's are at least um, 25 to 30 miles. That is bullshit, Gavin. I'm calling you out on bullshit, right? That is nonsense. You're telling me... No, you're telling me there are no cars for sale within a 25-mile radius of where you live. No. That is a lie. Ian, Ian, I want a Saab 93 convertible. Okay. That's for a thousand pounds. For a grand. Um, uh, it's not going to happen, Gavin. Well, I've already got one for 995. That's why I'm meeting the gentleman on Sunday. You haven't got one for 995. You're going to go and give someone a thousand pounds. If you're lucky, you might get a car. Just, Kat, do you really think it is yes. that bad? News? Yes, it's dodgy. And you know it's dodgy as well. I don't know why you're persisting with this. That's why you feel weird about it. You should feel weird. It's wrong. What if it's right, though? What if I don't even believe it's happening, Gavin. If I'm honest, I don't believe it's happening. All right, yeah, you know that I can't use... Uh, man, I... It's on auto... Tr oh, man, I just... I've tried to, um... Contact you on Twitter. I don't know how to use Twitter. i tried to email you. I don't know how to do anything like this. I... I can only really contact you by speaking over the phone. And I'm telling you, man, um, I've spoke to the bloke, and he says, you turn up, and um, it's yours. It's MOT'd, it's ready to go tax. You don't buy a car without looking at it, without ideally getting the AA or a mechanical friend to go and look at it, and without test driving it. It's AA approved. Says who? The guy selling it. Oh, in that no, case... It's an auto trader. They approve every car. They, they go around and look, do they? Well, apparently, yeah. Okay, dude. Well, I, do, well, I don't know what you want me to say, Gavin. W w what do you want me to say? Yeah, it's a great idea. Go and have a great time. I look forward to um, g g bumming a lift in your new car. I, what, I don't know what I don't know what you want me to say. 
I just want someone to come with me because I'm frightened. Okay, well, I'm I, I'm not coming. Catherine's not coming, and I'm I'm not gonna I'm not going to to do a phone in where we 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 try and get someone to go with you because I would not want to put you in jeopardy and I would not want to put any other caller in jeopardy you could be a nut job for all we know or they could be a nut job so I'm I, I'm not going to allow that yeah that's fair enough Ian. um well um <sighs> so you're too nervous to go on yeah, your, to go, I'm, you're, you're nervous. you're not used to sort of, um, public transport. Right, so you're too nervous to go on your own, but you're happy, as Roger points out on Twitter, to meet a complete stranger whilst carrying a grand in cash. That doesn't sound like a, that doesn't sound, um, that doesn't sound logical to me. Um, I think the bravery comes from, it's sort of, the adrenaline will be flowing knowing that I've got that cash in my pocket. I think I you're, I think you're making this story up. I think you're making this story up, man. Why do you think that? It doesn't, none of it sounds true. None of it sounds true. Um, would you like me to fill you in with some more details? What would... What no, would... no, you don't have to prove anything to me. I'm... It is true. That's great then. If it's true, then that's that's great. You're setting yourself up. You're putting yourself in a really dangerous situation for every, no reason. Every time recently I phone you, you you think that I'm lying about I my haven't, life. Haven't said that. I have not said that at all, Gavin. I'm very precise with my words, as you'll know, and that's not what I've yeah, said I at all. Yeah, I do know. And you you say it's it's not true. No, I haven't. Like Ga Gavin, I Gavin, Gavin, Gavin. I'm I'm not going to fall out with you, but I definitely have not said that. No, I, I apologise. You didn't. You say that you you smell some rats. Again, didn't say that. You. Um, let's not. Come on. Let's not play this game, right? Where you try and you, you no, try and guess what I've said because I, I I know exactly what I've said, and you should have been yeah, listening. Because I, exactly. I, I spend, seem to spend a lot of my time telling you stuff and giving you advice that you you, you just completely ignore. I seem to spend a lot of time telling you about my life that you don't believe. I've not said that, Gavin. All right, could, um, could you do me a massive favour and just break down for me what you think about what I tell you? Okay, well, I I'm think... Okay, sure, not a problem, man. This yeah, whole story can. about um, you having a bit of bad luck, so you're going to go uh, to a place you've never heard of before, you don't even know where it is, to go and meet a bloke you've never met, and you're terrified, and you'd like someone to go with you, but you're going to do it anyway, and you're going to carry a grand in cash, and you're going to go and hand it to him, and get in a car that you've never seen except for a photograph, and never driven, and you're going to drive it home. That all sounds like bull. Well, that's, that's sort of why I was asking for help. But, 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 but why are you asking me for help? What help can I'm I... I'm asking you for help. I'm asking for... No, it's not anyone. our... It's not... Okay, I, I, okay. It's not our responsibility. I know it's not. It's not our responsibility. And I don't believe this story. Um... And if it, hey, and that's cool that I don't, you know, if I don't believe it, that's my choice. And if it's true, that's your thing. And if it's not true, that's also your thing. You know, we, we I, 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 uh, I, I, I'm allowed to, 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 to not believe what people phone in and tell me. Yeah, I know, Ian, but the thing is, I, I won't be able to, um, provide you with proof, even if I drive. I don't want, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want proof. You don't... I don't know how to use Twitter. I don't know I'm how to good. send you pictures on good. your email. I wouldn't, I wouldn't look at the pictures if you sent them to me. Why would I want to see pictures of your car? You don't, here's the thing. Why are you so, okay, here's the, here's the thing. Why are you so determined that y you have to prove this to me? Why? Because you don't believe pretty much most of what I say Again, anymore. And I didn't say that, Gavin. Didn't say that you're putting words in my mouth that are untrue. Um, let's just stick with the car. Why do you have to prove it to me? I'm just some bloke on the radio. All right, fundamentally, you're a good man. Um, there aren't many good men, or cats included, 
No, that's um, that There's not many good man. men or women in my life. And... We're not friends, Gavin. I didn't say we were. No, but I'm just making sure, because some people don't quite get that, and I no, just... No, we're not at all friends. No, but I just have You're to... You're a sounding board for my emotions. Okay, I don't think that's appropriate. Okay. I, don't, I think that's putting too... I think that's laying too much of a trip on me to say that I'm a what, sound is that, board. Is that person. heavier than... I don't... I know we're not... I... Well, in that case, I, I really don't know what to say. Um, in, nothing. Enjoy your car. God, I'm getting dogs abuse on YouTube. Well, ignore those people. Don't, don't, don't you care too much about what people think? Ignore those people. All right, Ian. Yeah, um, I didn't want to put you under any pressure. Um, I've obviously got it wrong again. And um, uh, you're not a sounding board. We're not friends. Um, yeah, I'll I'll keep you up to date if I get the car. Catherine. Um, Gavin. Yeah. I can't s stress enough, and I've worked on programmes where people have been ripped off on, on other radio stations, how much of a bad idea that is. And if you were my brother, I'd tell you not to go. I also I think that... can't afford anything else. You can't afford to give someone a thousand pounds either. Well, if the car's in front of me... It's a big if. And this, uh, this is dodgy. This is not the way to buy a car. Really, honestly. And I don't think this is helping you. I don't think this is the, I don't think this is the test that you're looking for. No. I, I think I, what you're trying to do, what you're doing actually is, is ignoring what is, an, what is a signal from you that you know that this is a dodgy thing to do. This isn't the one to push your head through. I'm slightly reluctant to carry I've on talking that, about... I've absolutely got that. I'm slightly reluctant to talk, carry on talking about the car, because I don't believe it. No, what Kath just said was spot on. I'm it, pushing something that I know is ridiculous, just to show that I can. Yeah, and this isn't the thing. And I don't think it's going to help you. Yeah, I dig it. Right. I dig it. Have you got anyone, have you spoken to your GP and stuff about the way you're feeling at the moment? Yeah, I, I saw my, um, my professor at the Royal Free Hospital in Hampstead um, the day before yesterday, and I saw my ADAS counsellor um, this afternoon. <laughs> um, yeah, everything is, everything's, Everything's physically hunky dory. Everything mentally is all over the place, but it's not easy to get. It's easy if you know if you're um, physically unwell. And um, my doctor um, changed my antidepressants and decided that the best thing to do when they made me feel terrible was to double the dose. So I've been um, kicking on them for a little bit, but I think the only thing that can that can alleviate my my misery is to just get that car back and there it is it's a grand I've got to go to Tottenham Hale I don't even know where Tottenham Hale is I um, don't but what, what day are you going Sunday? Saturday? yes yeah, Sunday right so you, you're going in two days and you've not looked it up on the map no I know to get on the train at Stansted and it stops at Tottenham Hale right ok um, Gavin, I, I don't think we're helping you by indulging in this, if I'm completely honest. It's making me very, very uncomfortable, and I'm worried that I am that I am doing more damage than good. So I'm going to say thank you very much for your call. All right, man. Best of luck. Thanks, Kath. You were spot on. Well, look after yourself, Gavin. Cheers, Kath. Bye. Let's take that break we missed. 
Talk Radio. Intelligent, organic entertainment. Talk Radio. We'll get you talking. The big story of the day on Talk Radio with the Times. No real times. Every weekday from 6.30, join Julia Hartley Brewer for in-depth analysis of the morning headlines. Don't just be informed, be well informed with fearless debate and in-depth opinion from right across the political spectrum. Join me, Julia Hartley Brewer, for the biggest breaking current affairs stories, top guests and razor-sharp reaction. Get a better quality conversation and breakfast. The big story of the day with Julia Hartley Brewer on Talk Radio with the Times. No, your time. Times. Hurricane. Oh, this World Cup is getting better. The Cup is getting better. The drama is getting better. The goal of the night. The crowd of the The World Cup that keeps on giving. This is Super show from Russia now. When the pressure is on. Right at the very end. He took the poorest of kicks. The World Cup continues. On ITV. What's your summer soundtrack? Lawn mowing. I just worry we're doing more harm than good, oh. but it's fascinating. Six speaker touchscreen control DAB radio blasting in a new Corsa with five years 0% APR. Vauxhall, British brand since 1903. Excludes Corsa Active. Come on, everyone on, on YouTube as well. Just, sales, just fucking calm down. You can see it's a sensitive situation. So Fox going on there and saying he's a bullshitter Search and all of that, that doesn't really help, man. I expect, you know it, expect that on Periscope. What it needs, what expect it a little night, bit better, you guys, on, on um, you on every morning. You know YouTube. where you want to be in five years' time and that you really want to be there in two. We know we can help you get there. Barclays now offers unsecured loans of up to £100,000 that can be with you in days or even hours to help move your business forward. To apply for a loan that's just right for your business, search Barclays Business Loans. Let's go forward. Subject to status, terms and conditions apply. Guarantee may be needed. This is the sound of a fun day out. <gasps> With the sharks at Sea Life. Days out are even better when they're so, half price. We're with listening. you. With British Gas Rewards, you can enjoy 50% off top UK attractions. British Gas Rewards. Join today. Terms and date exclusions apply. Unmissable late night radio with the original king of unconventional conversation. Make contact with Ian Lee. The late night alternative with Ian Lee on Talk Radio. Righty ho, a lot of calls. Let's go to Sally. Good evening, Sally. Hello. I'm not entirely sure what to say after that call. Nope. I'm I'm a little bit Whoa, a little bit way. What was that? That was the first one. A little bit <laughs> whoa, a little bit way. I'm a little bit annoyed, to oh. be quite honest. Okay. Um Just i I'm just gonna say Yeah. Let's all just tread carefully, right? I just saw a lot of people on YouTube being quite rude. I expect that on Periscope, that's why I've I've turned off the chat on Periscope and it ain't going back on. But uh, uh, the YouTubers, I kind of expect a little bit more, right? And there's yeah. all people kind of saying stuff and diagnosing from a distance and uh, 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 and stuff like that. You might all be absolutely right, you might all be wrong, but it, it just feels a little bit mean. Remember that that person was in that YouTube chat 20 minutes ago. And he's back in there now. And he's back in, back in there, and he'll see all of that. So just just back off a little yeah. bit. And so I, and I, I kind of think I know where you're going, Sally. Oh, I'm just going to say... If yeah. we can all just tread a little bit careful, carefully, please, because I don't want to do more harm than good. I if, just, I. <laughs> you got my, vi- you got my, you got my vibe. You got my vibe, Sally. Yeah, yeah. Get my vibe. Take my vibe. Um. Go on. You can say what you want to say with now that that's in mind, but hmm. just, you just. Hold no, it. you know what? You know what concerns me most is, is that whether it's bullshine or not, yep. he needs to go and get help. Yeah. Yeah. And. <sighs> And he needs to get a Fiesta, not a bloody Saab. I, I mean, you know, if you need a car, just get a car, you know. <laughs> um, you why, know, why? it has to be a Saab, I don't know. Why I mean, are you... quite expensive anyway, but I'm just... Why I'm, are you angry? Is it, is, angry. is it about the Saab? No, I'm angry because I have been through hell yeah. as a child. Yeah. You know, my, I, I, I didn't intend to talk about this tonight, and, and I, I rarely talk about this at all, even to family and friends and things like that. But, you know, my, my dad used to beat me with a metal ruler. Yeah. I used to have to sleep under my bed. Wowzers. Because he would, you do something wrong, 
And instead of punishing you there and then, he would wait until three, four in the morning. Oh, and, and, you know, I'm seven years old, I'm lying in bed. You know, I've got to go to school in the morning and, and I'm up because I'm waiting for him to come through the door. So I used to, I used to sleep under my bed to give myself a chance. And, and to hear someone come on and talk about that sort of thing, and and I I really do. <sighs> You're not. I I, I, I'm just. I'm angry that that if someone is bullshining, okay. that they're bullshining about okay. that because okay. but, 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 and I appreciate you sharing that with us. Um, sorry. No, really, really sorry. Don't be sorry for. For goodness sakes. Um, I can't even, be, I can't even begin to imagine what that must have been like, and I'm, I'm so glad that I never, you know, I'm really sorry that that happened to you, and I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm really grateful that you feel you can talk to me and Kath on this level. Is that, that's deep shiz, man. Oh yeah, I, that's I, not even I, half of it. No, I bet. But I, 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 if I may make one suggestion, yeah, because we don't, we don't know, we no, don't know, I we know. don't know about Kath, we don't know, and. I, I, you know what happened to you is what happened to you and what is going yeah. on for gavin is what is going on for gavin and I, may i suggest you, you if, if possible try and yeah. keep those two things separate well then he needs to go and see and he needs to go and get some help well, either way well he, well he he doesn't need to you know he's he, he can he well, can i suggest there we go, there we go. Now there we go. That's it. Exactly. And I would never I tell anyone what that. Yeah. No, I think no. that's a good suggestion. And if he's if if he's saying that his mum is being beaten too. Yeah. You know, I used to have to sit there and watch my mum being beaten and, and hit with a bloody glass ashtray and and all sorts, you know. That's that's no and and I've been through domestic violence with an ex-partner. I've been pushed down the stairs and woken up to my kids thinking that I was dead oh, and that I mean. Daddy had killed Mummy, you know? Just, you need to... I suggest you get help, Gavin. Okay. And That's I it. suggest that you do right by your mother and get her help because I've been there and it's just... Oh, it's just... Horrible. Those are, those are excellent suggestions. You've got nothing to apologise for. Can I ask you one question? Yeah. Have you checked? You haven't. I just heard it. I just heard the beep of your smoke detector in the back. <laughs> I just heard it. I, I, whenever Sally calls I've never in, heard it before, and I've seen people <laughs> moaning about it, but I heard it too. I just as I, cause people, every time Sally comes on, people always we get about five or six tweets and texts. Can you please tell that woman yeah, she sounds right. very nice? But can she put a new battery in her smoke detector? Could you, could you could you put a new battery in the bloody smoke detector? Listen, everyone, everyone, be quiet. Everyone, be quiet. <laughs> Sally, be quiet. Listen, listen, listen. Okay. listen sh There it is! <laughs> <laughs> and apparently for the whole hour she was defending Caddick. Yeah. People at home were going, Turn that thing off! <laughs> they, were, they were going yeah. nuts. So do that. Yeah. Make that your priority. Can you change it? Can you change it this week, please? This week? Said, on, on, on air, so it's legal and it's <laughs> binding. Can you please change? <laughs> you do it! We you change it. You do it! Oh, we heard a yes there. I'm not there. doing it. I'm not doing it. It's his job to do it. All right. Okay. Sally, best of luck with um, sorting out your, your fire alarm, your smoke alarm. Thank you. And thank Bye. you for your take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Just as I was about to ask her. <laughs> Unbelievable. Let's, uh, we've got loads of calls. Let's go to Tony. Good evening, Tony. Hello, Tony. Oh, hello, Ian. How are you doing? I'm all right, thank you, Tony. My neck is easing up a little bit, and I found out today I'm getting the keys to my new house in two weeks' time. Lovely, 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 jubbly. Is that, um, come round, day? come round and play some PlayStation with me, buddy. Well, I, uh, yeah. Come uh, round and play. We'll watch a bit. We'll watch a karate film. We'll play a bit of PS4. We'll, we'll order. I was going to say we'll cook. Now we're not going to cook. We'll order some Dominoes. Yeah, it'll be great, man. Come round. Come round. That sounds perfect. I mean, are you, are you refurbing the house after buying it off this old lady, or are you just? Uh, I'm just gonna. I'm just it? gonna trash it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna trash it. Gonna spray paint the walls. I'm gonna leave my scent in the corner of every room, solids and liquids. I am but gonna like a, destroy this place. But like a male dog that, oh, a male yeah. puppy that needs. Yeah. I'm a male dog. 
Look at my, look at my own balls. If I can't, hey, listen, I'm going to take up yoga because I've heard that if you practice I, yoga for a year, you can, you can actually lick your own balls. Lick, <laughs> I've heard that. I think, I think Sting can do that. Or did he have two ribs removed? Ooh. I know, I bought, supposed I, to be Prince. I bought that, Sting's oh, ribs sorry, on was eBay. Was that, was that Prince? Or was it, was it, was it, uh, was it Prince? Yeah, apparently. Right. Apparently. Here's the thing. Can I just show, tell you, I'm maturing. And, and then he, he got murdered by the, um, uh, I don't know. He he was big on the old the glitterati, theory. the Illuminati. This the, the um, it was chemtrails. Can I just say? I was about to ask you. I was about to ask you a question, Tony, and I censored myself. I'm growing up. I'm maturing. Well, what would be more mature is yeah. if you hadn't told us that. Oh. Congratulated yourself oh. on there. I'm I'm very proud of myself. I was going to ask you a rude about, question about, about, about the ribs being removed. No, no all right. No. I will ask you. Have you ever tried? What's that? Have my ribs removed? No. No. Have you ever tried doing what we were saying just a few minutes ago? No, I'm Come not. on, even as a teenager? No, cause, no, 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 no. I, I mean, the dog might ha might try that, but, um... I did. Oh. Well, it can get there. <laughs> I did. But, um... Anyway, Tony, let's... You've, you've really brought us down to this, um... Uh, to a very, very poor level, Tony. Let's hope you can up it a little bit. What have you got for us? Uh, um, I just wanted to clarify, is it Sting or, um, <laughs> what Catherine said, who had his ribs removed? Sting is, your, Sting is your tantric sex man. Prince yeah. is apparently the two ribs Prince is your pervert. Man. Oh, he was Prince a freaky was. old thing, wasn't he? He was a freaky yeah, old he thing. He was, he, he was, but, um, He was I a sexy MF! <laughs> on the, um, he had an interview, you know, on the big, the big American television program where, where he talked about chemtrails and it's seen on YouTube. And yep. then not long after that, he, um, got found dead in his lift on yep. the way to his studio. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and I, another I, thing I we found, that, actually. another thing we found out tonight is that Steve, uh, James Coburn died uh, 16 years ago. No one told me. No James one Coburn died. So yeah, 2002. No. Yes, man! I found out tonight. I'm devastated. I was thinking about him the other night on the drive home, thinking, I wonder if we could get James Coburn on the show. Not a chance. He died. Did he? Yes. Who told you that? Um, Wikipedia. <laughs> Wikipedia. Someone's been on there going, Ooh, he died. He died. So, hang on a minute. Do you, so, do you you, 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 you believe in chemtrails, yeah? Um, or you believe the people behind chemtrails murdered Prince? I think there's something definitely in there in what you just said because um, I've watched a lot of you know different YouTube things about Luminati, yeah, yeah. Uh, different things. But the, the biggest thing is, is where where a lot of the presidents and I don't know if you look on YouTube, you know, yeah. and, you know that anyone can put anything on YouTube and it doesn't have to be fact checked. Oh, I know that, but okay. it, it, there is something that was um, leaked where someone got into the event where the Clintons went, where the big, you know, the big people, you know, the big presidents, like, president went, and, um, it showed the stage. And yeah, that was Alex and, Jones went there. You're talking about the Bilderberg yeah. group. Yeah, Alex Jones went there, and what, what, just, yeah. okay, tell me what conclusions you drew from that. Um, well, I, I, well, obviously I'm dubious to it, but I, I watched it and thought, uh, he actually got in there and yeah, he filmed. he did. Um, on, they were on the stage and they were talking about, um, I don't know. Uh, what, so, what do, so, so what do you think, what do you think that that proves? That proves that chemtrails, for those that don't know, chemtrails are, uh, I think I've got this right, the, the, the trails you see behind airplanes, they're pumping out mind control gas or something. Um, so, so what, but what does that prove? What, the, the, the chemtrails are real that... Well, I don't necessarily, well, but that could be a possibility, but, um, I don't know the chap who, who, um, we're talking about, you just mentioned his name, you, you recorded it. Uh, Alex Jones! I'm Alex Jones! And I, I went, I got into Bilderberg. But we'll, gonna, what, what, we'll, we'll get to the punchline in a second. Yeah, go on. Well, when we watched, when I watched that, I don't know you've seen it, I yes. thought, um... There could be something in, yeah. the, in that. Because I've part. seen, you know, I'm not, I'm not. I, me and Kath have seen the John Ronson documentary where John, you know, do you know John Ronson? I don't, but I will watch it now. He's great. It. He, he's with, um, Alex Jones. You've seen this, haven't you, Catherine? Have you seen this? He writes about it in his book. He's with Alex Jones, um, that weekend they try and break into Bilderberg. Right. And, um. In Bilderberg, yes. Yeah. Mm. And, and he films Alex going in and he films Alex coming out. 
Okay. And uh, uh, basically, he goes, there's a giant owl in there. And yeah. John Watson goes, yeah. And they talked about sacrifices. Y yeah. Yeah, they did talk about sacrifice. They did a sacrifice. Did you see that bit? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Literally they were actors. Stage, they were people. They were actors. Put. They were actors putting on a show. It was. A, it was. It was they were. John Ron John Ronson sits there with him and watches the footage. Goes, Look, see, they're doing a sacrifice. Uh, and he goes, I see. Yeah, they're actors putting on a show. Exactly no one's being like sacrificed. Donald Trump over these last few days. Huh? Exactly like Donald Trump over the last few days. Exactly. Thank you, Tony. It's always good to have um, such intellectual listeners and callers. 0344 499 I'm losing the will to live. This is Talk Radio. Across Jesus. Talk Radio. For those about to talk, talk oh, yeah, we salute you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Break up your mornings and take a brilliant break from Mike Graham on Talk Radio with the Sun Holiday Shop. Great value breaks every weekday morning from 10. Three hours packed full of fabulous features. Great value guests. A quick five calls of all of the day's top talking points. Don't miss Mike Graham every weekday morning from 10 on Talk Radio with the Sun Holiday Shop. Great value breaks all year round. Go to the sun.co.uk slash holiday shop. At Wix, right now, there's 15% of all paint, including great brands like Dulux. Visit us in-store or online at wix.co.uk. And there's Mike Simmons onto the forecourt. Approaches the Tiguan, but picks out the Tiguan. Looking at a seven-seater yeah, Tiguan all yeah, space now. Huh? He spies yeah. the Touareg. Promising, yeah, but he's cool. leaving it late. A quick nice exchange with the Volkswagen yeah, salesman. Yeah, and yes, Mike Simmons yeah. is the proud owner of a You're brand new Volkswagen Touareg. The Volkswagen SUV event from the 1st to the 15th of July. Save £500 pounds on a couple of existing offers when you test drive any SUV. Just make sure you get there for the final whistle. Offer 15, 16 year old boy, I can live with it. Then I'm worried it will make me gay. These are all, these are true stories. These are true stories. Wow. At Green Flag, wow, well, that's what a mate does when someone reveals intimate information. Oh, They'll give you unlimited call outs you when you get in a pickle. Well, I, d I, I didn't worry it would make me gay. I worried that it would make me gay. So, why do I was worried that uh, it, it would show that I was gay. Green do all of this too. I mean, what about you? Have you a little bit of a cold? Green Flag. No, it's not. No, no, it's not. That's like you're licking yourself out. Vehicle cover for vehicles 10 years and under teas. When Dave met Steve, I don't know why it's so funny. When Barry met Gary, I don't know why it's so funny. When Fred met Alex, I'm kidding now, man. What? They all met thanks to SuperSubby.com for subcontractors looking for contractors and contractors looking for subbies. SuperSubby's obviously not gay. Perfect match for skills, location, and trade. It's free for subbies with a three-month free trial for contractors. So download the app from the App Store and Google Play, or visit SuperSubby.com. SuperSubby, the new smarter one. Sucking your own. You guys really should be watching on the YouTube channel because Catherine and I just had a very, very frank discussion about what makes you gay. Uh, <laughs> no, it was more about... Okay. I don't know if I can share No, this don't. All right, I won't. I won't. Don't. Just, right. let, just leave that dangling, which is what you should have done before. <laughs> okay. But ev surely every 14, 15, 16-year-old boy has tried to do that to themselves. <laughs> and then the worry is, if you can do it, well, does that make me gay? That's all. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> um, we've got so many calls here. Let's try... Oh, God. Hey, it's Chuck Winkle! Well, good evening to you on this uh, glorious evening when our commander-in-chief Donald Trump is visiting Bonnie Scotland. Did you say Donald Sutherland? Donald Jonathan Trump. <laughs> <laughs> is that what the J stands for? Is it? I mean, I'm laughing, but we don't know, but it sounds funny. It stands for jackass. Jackass Trump! I, I would not stand for that. I got some serious news, guys. Okay, can, is, he sounds like you've got something in your mouth. I am. Well, could is you take better? it? Yeah, that's much better. I don't know. <laughs> I think maybe oh, I do no. know what it was. This Chuck Winkle. <laughs> right, steady on, cowboys. Okay, cowboys and cowgirls. Let's let's get 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 back on our horses. 
Okay, Chuck, so, uh, what's the latest news? Well, I could, uh, I could be impeaching myself with oh. it, you know. Uh, in a really dramatic, uh, turn of events, let's say. Okay, yep, yep, yep. Started off with me being, uh, one of the, uh, invited media guests yeah. on the, uh, the Air Force United One yeah. plane. Yes. With Donald Trump and his, uh, staff. Did they know you were there? Yeah, well, I was invited, actually, as one of the key people of the uh, U.S. Uh, press. Wow, you, can I say, your your American accent really is improving. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So what was Thanks. the vibe like on Air Force One? It was okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it was okay! <laughs> You're being really rude. <laughs> it was okay! Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Chuck, I'm just, um, starstruck to be this close to presidential success. Right. So, as I was saying... Yes, sir. He was a <laughs> very presidential. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we were uh, talking to all the staff, and, uh, when the event happened... Mm -hmm. The interview happened, yes. No, no, no interview. Oh, no interview happened. Why is that? Did he remember when you'd broken into his property before? No, what happened is, and I'm in very hot water for announcing this, and I'm not going to be invited back on the plane to America. What happened, man? <sighs> At 12.02 uh, US time, PM, <laughs> flying over Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> Donald Jonathan Trump <laughs> did do a very, very smelly poo. <laughs> it swept through the plane like a tidal wave of uh, smell. Okay, yes, yes. So how? So why was there no interview? Well, because I said, "Bull like Donald, that smells like someone died in there." <laughs> <laughs> and 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 what? You got um, tossed off? I got tossed off the United States plane. Chuck, well, listen, I'm sorry to hear that, man. Um, uh, I, I, again, I can only apologise that you didn't get the gig of talk radio political editor. That went to some chancer called Ross Kempsell. We really yeah. did fight hard for your corner, Chuck. I know, and you are my two good friends over here in Sheer United Kingdom. Thank you very much for your call, Chuck. Take care, buddy. God bless America. There we go. We tried to get it. That's political insight that you, you won't get anywhere else. Now I know why he didn't get the job. <laughs> Obviously, Donald J. Trump has yeah. intervened. Exactly. There's probably a documentary about it on YouTube. The guy said I smelled sad. <laughs> Fake news. That's the worst Donald Trump. I'm Donald. Well, you just didn't. I'm just, I'm getting into it. You, you just, just did you, you just fuck did on, on, leg on. What did you say? You just did fuck on, leg on. I thought you said you just did F all. <laughs> I'm Donald. I'm Donald Trump, and I'm a like very, very big. I got the. I'm the best of fighting. I do the best, the best fights in the world. <laughs> Let's go to Dave. Good evening, Dave. Hi. Hey, Dave. How's it going? Uh, it's a strange one tonight. Very, very strange one. Uh, well, um, uh, it was, took me about an hour to phone in, but I was really enjoying the. I just caught the last little bit of it where you were talking to that guy who wrote the Bruce Lee book. Oh, Matthew Polly, Bruce Lee alive. Yeah, what yeah. a nice guy. Well, there's, there's something about it. I don't know if it's just specific to people from, my, like, our generation, but... Because, like, uh, I was born in 1974. Yeah. And Bruce Lee died in 1973. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know why. I always almost feel like Bruce Lee has always been alive. I know in the back mm. of my mind that he's dead. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. like, because of computer games and they're making biopics about him and books being released and yeah. how strong his philosophy was and things like that. Yeah. But it's kind of always like... Is it a going concern? It's like, oh yeah, there's a Bruce Lee film, or like there was the Bruce Lee Spectrum game that he used to have. The Bruce Lee Spectrum game where you got chased by ninjas and this dude called the Green Yamo. What was the Green Yamo? Well, that's a, that, well, that's the thing as well about Bruce Lee. I kind of love that. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of glad you knew what the Green Yamo was. Who was going to mention myself? But yeah. I kind of love how something like Bruce Lee, how he can be this philosophical guy, philosophy philosophy and all this like really kind of mindful thoughtful things and then you can have a game where he fights a green yamo yeah it, uh, that game was the game was the weirdest thing the bruce lee game i played it on the spectrum 
It was the weirdest game, man. You had to climb up this railing and then fight these dudes and then get... Oh, it was nuts! Uh, what's funny, they talk about Black, they, thought, they think of it, I almost still think that he's alive. I always do yeah. sort of think to myself, though, if he was alive, yeah. what kind of crazy films would he be making now? Because oh. I'm always a little bit gutted that he didn't make ever make a film with, like, a talking dog or something. Cause that's like... <laughs> I've often thought, well, what kind of films would he make in the 80s and stuff? But yeah, Bruce Lee with a talking dog, that would be awesome, man! That's exactly what I want to see! <laughs> to me, though, I, I always know my taste in films is, like, pretty low ball. Like, yesterday I went to see the new The Rock film, Skyscraper. Is it good? Like, it, it's, it's exactly what you think it would be. If Beautiful! Like, Tower in Inferno mixed with yeah. Tyard. I love The Rock. I think he's brilliant. Well, he, well, he's like one of those people where I just feel like he's almost like, you know, all, not similar to Bruce Lee, but like you just, I really enjoy just seeing him on screen and just, because I came to it quite late because I was never really a huge fan of wrestling. Yeah. And when he, he slowly started making action films like uh, the remake of Walking Tall and things like that, yeah. I was like, oh, is he going to be the next? Stallone and Schwarzenegger, and I think he's slowly. Well, I thought he was going to be the next Hulk Hogan, but I got it wrong, and he's made some. He's made some great films. But, but Hulk Hogan, though, he's one of those people, though, where, like, I say, I'm never a huge wrestling fan, but the few wrestling matches I did watch with Hulk Hogan, yeah. I think he has got that personality, and he's that entrance. But he could. Yeah. I don't think he can act right. Whereas, whereas Dwayne Johnson can act. Did, did you see the Jumanji remake? No, I haven't seen that yet. Mate, no. watch it. You've seen it, haven't you, Kath? Yes. He, Dwayne Johnson's got some great comic timing in it, He's isn't he? He's also extremely handsome and charming. Yeah. I, 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 whereas, whereas Hulk Hogan, I think, looks a bit silly. And I think his, his acting is kind of like pantomime acting. But, but, d yeah, he's doing wrestling acting. Yeah, the, Dwayne, the Rock, he, 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 I mean, it's not the subtlest thing in the world, you know, you're not going to get him playing Hamlet, but I just thought it was very measured, his performance. Go and watch Jumanji, Dave, he's very, very funny. It's almost I as know, good as I'm Bruce Lee with a talking dog. Well, it, it sounds good to me. I think with Jumanji, though, and this is, anybody who knows me, this is very hard for me to say, but yeah. I like nearly every film I've ever seen, yeah. like, almost without fail, but for some reason, Jumanji... Rub, rub me up the wrong way, and it was always a film that I didn't like. The first Jumanji. The first Jumanji is boring. It's too slow. Yeah. Too slow. So What's the second what? one? So I don't know why. Watching the second one, like, yeah, I'll get around to it eventually. All right, here you go, Dave. I don't do. I've never done this. You watch Jumanji. If you don't, if you don't give it six out of ten or more, I'll cover the cost of it for you. Whether you rent it or, what, or get it online. Uh, if you don't, don't give it a six or more out of ten, I'm paying for it. Uh, okay. Is that a deal? And I'm, I, I mean that. That's not even, a, I'm not even doing a thing. I mean that. No, no, it's, uh, what's weird to me, because it's almost like, again, it's almost like, to me, almost like a challenge that if people say a film's bad, I will go into my way, go see right. like, Well, don't, like, oh, don't go and buy like a Criterion double disc box set special edition, because I'm not forking out like 59.99. If you can spend like up to about a tenner or something, you rent it online or get it online. If you don't give it a six out of ten or more, Dave, I'm paying for that movie, because I love that movie. Dave, that was one of my favourite calls of the night, man. Thank you, I love it. The fantasy, he's a great Bruce Lee fan fantasy. What films? What films could he have made? I would never in all of my life thought of him doing one, doing a comedy with a talking dog. But now he said it, I can totally see that. 1986, Bruce Lee in the craziest comedy you've ever seen. He's got a new partner. And it's a dog. Oof. Yeah, it'll be great, man. This is the, what a show I'm having tonight. Ray, Sam, Jerry, stay there. You're coming up next. The Late Night Alternative with me, Ian Lee. Where are you going? And her, Catherine Boyle, on Talk Radio. Talk Radio. <laughs> Where the fuck are you going? Uh, I don't want chocolate, but I would the love it. The crowd is electric. A There's a real air of water. anticipation today. That made me laugh a lot. And He's here nice, though. He's still in the couple of The new Hyundai Tucson Go Edition SUV. Maybe with a talking dog. Proving that it's a great to deal with everything. I would never have thought of that. Packed with extra cuties. Of course he would. Everyone's going to film with a talking dog. Updates to help you stay on the ball. Plus our ever-present five-year unlimited mileage warranty to keep you match fit. But football fan or not, with Hyundai, you can all make the most of the world. Here you go, lady. Discover more at Hyundai.co.uk. Warranty T's and C's apply. Cast your mind back and think. I'm having fun tonight. You have contacted out of the blue for a pension review. Sorry. 
Were you advised to move your work or personal pension into a SIP, self-invested personal pension? Yes, I was. You could be due thousands if you were missold. Money Redress are trusted claim specialists in pension and investment mis-selling. They'll manage the whole claim for you on a no-payout, no-fee basis, so you can't lose. Text WIN to 85077. This is the sound of a broken boiler. Oh! And having to fork out for a new one. Oh! Then finding out you can get interest-free credit. Oh! Not blowing your savings on a new boiler feels good. We're with you. Search British Gas New Boiler. Credit subject to status, conditions apply. When the McCulloch man hey, Jim mows Bob. his lawn with his McCulloch lawnmower, he powers through even the toughest grass with one goal in mind. To finish the job before the match starts. And with his McCulloch lawnmower, he's got the power to get the job done. That's why his mates envy his lawn as well as his team. Get your McCulloch lawnmower and other garden power tools at good DIY stores nationwide or at McCulloch.com. McCulloch. The power to get the job done. You want a quality van at an everyday price? Well, this could be just the deal you're looking for. What's that coming over the hill? Chapacone. Right now at Van Monster, we've got incredible offers like these 2014 Peugeot Partners from only £88 a month. With features like Partex available for your old van as standard. See all the vans and all the deals right now at vanmonster.com. Conditions apply. Deposit payable. Offers to business users only. Across the UK, online and on DAB. Talk radio, on the hour news headlines. Good morning, I'm James Neish. Donald Trump's arrival at his golf course in Scotland has been met with a protest from the air. A drone, apparently from Greenpeace, flew over the resort with a banner saying Trump well below par, despite a no-fly zone currently in place. The US President and First Lady Melania will spend the weekend there after meeting Theresa May and the Queen. There were protests in the centre of Glasgow against Against his visit, it's brought some opposing politicians together, including Scottish Labour leader Richard Leonard and Deputy Leader of the SNP Keith Brown. Keith and I don't always see eye to eye, but we are absolutely shoulder to shoulder in opposing the Trump visit and in believing the invitation should never have been issued by Theresa May in the first place. Police say the source of the Novichok nerve agent which killed a woman in Wiltshire was a bottle in a partner's home. Charlie Rowley remains in hospital after also being exposed to it. The London Fire Brigade is going to complain to Love Island saying a challenge on the show was like something out of the 70s. It involved male contestants dressed up as firefighters in minimal clothing having to save their female co-stars. One of the most highly anticipated films of the summer, Mission Impossible Fallout, has had its UK premiere. On the red carpet, Tom Cruise spoke to talk radio and reflected on the stunt that caused him to break his ankle. I never thought I'd break my ankle on jumping from one roof to the next. I mean, that was, I didn't expect that with all the things that I've done. And that was, you know, look, it's a, it's a tricky stunt, that stunt, but it's not something that, you know, with everything else we've trained for. So, but it happens. In sport, Rafa Nadal and Novak Djokovic will have to finish their Wimbledon semi-final later after a curfew brought play to an end on centre court. Djokovic had just gone two sets to one up when play was suspended. They were delayed because of the second longest Grand Slam singles match ever when Kevin Anderson beat John Isner. Your weather, showers easing, a sunny and warm weekend ahead, odd shower possible in the southeast but remaining very hot. Claudia in Scotland and Northern Ireland. Across the UK, online and on DAB. Who has made a covenant with the night and with the darkness she is in agreement. Uncut after hours conversation for the up all night generation. The Late Night Alternative with Ian Lee on Talk Radio. Okay, well, I hope you sleep at night knowing you just blown up a 12 year old. 0344 499 1000 is the telephone number, Catherine Boyle. Yeah, it's you, me. Ian Lee, it's me, Mondays to Fridays. <laughs> Who did I say? Mondays to Fridays. Oh, I sound like a, I sound like a Mr. Tumble character, didn't I? Mm. Mondays to Fridays. <laughs> no? Okay, fine, I'll help you, Bob. Right then, let's crack on with these calls. Let's go to Sam first. Good evening, Sam. Welcome to the show. Oh, hello, Ian. How are we doing? I'm very well, Sam. Long, long time, long time listener, first time caller. Good lad, good lad. What, what can we do for thee, my my fine friend, on this evening? Yeah, 
well, if I have to shoot, it's because the, the baby, they've got a faulty baby monitor, and it, uh, so it's nice to sort and of if, if the shoot the baby off monitor goes off, you're going to start shooting? What? This is insane. Yeah, well, well, yeah, Trump's only been here a couple of days, man. Wow. <laughs> I was on the phone for about five seconds with the colleague, and I had to shoot, because it just started flashing around. shot your colleague? Phone. Wow, this is no, nuts. I love your yeah. style, though. You just don't care. You <laughs> don't care, and I respect that. It, it doesn't help because she's in a she's in a full body cast. She's got uh, hip dysplasia, so it doesn't pick up on her heart rate or anything like that. So it just oh, who the baby? The baby. Oh yeah. God, I thought you were yeah. talking about your colleague. Oh, right, okay. So hang on. So how old's your baby, man? She's sixteen months. And she's in. A, she's in. What's she in? She's in a, a full body cast. Oh got, no. Um, yeah, she's got hip dysplasia. We found out that's no, so, check. Right. So t- right t- now, so tell me what hip dysplasia is. It was, uh, well, it's, it, they call it developmental hip dysplasia, so right. it could have happened at any time, but basically the, the, um, the ball joint of the, of the thigh, but on the hip, the, I don't know, I mean, I'm not like, I'm not uh, medically trained or anything, but, uh, but from what they've told me, it's, yeah. uh, it's completely out of the socket and sort of up and round to the left of the, of the hip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kath, you're, you're yeah. looking as though you've heard of Yeah, my this. friend's baby had that. No! Um, yeah, she's fine. Okay. She's fine now, but she was in a body cast. She's right? Yeah, of course. She? She's, you know, so she's this is one of those now. things that they can, f- they can fix. Yeah, because baby's bones yeah. are so soft. Right. They will need to, I mean, they say, they, they can, if they catch it earlier, if they catch it sort of like from birth, and it's, it's a lot more sort of sortable, but she's been, she, she didn't find it until she was, she was 12 months, and oh. so she was up walking, and she's had to have a bit of a limp and stuff, so. Okay, but, um, but what have they, said, how long have they said that she might be in a cast like this? Well, she's in it for, she's in it for three months. Okay. And we've got three weeks left. Aye! And then, and then, is it, they whip it off and they, they check and she doesn't go in it again or she might go in it again or? They'll do, they'll do a, they'll do a scan and then, um, check that it's worked. The surgeons are quite confident that it went in. She said it felt, felt right when it went in. So, um, she's got to be in that for three months, obviously, because there's only three weeks left and then she's, um, and then hopefully she wants to have a week's worth of physio in hospital. Yeah. And then, um, and then fingers crossed. Then what? A, li- a little check up every six months or something just to make sure yeah, it's going in the right direction. The Here's the, the thing. So my, yeah. my, my youngest, and uh, God, it seems like a lifetime ago, but it was terrifying. It was on my 40th birthday. That was five years ago. So he was just over a year. Right. Okay. Um, have I got that right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So he was he was a year, and he it, we, he got a urine infection, and 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 we found out after faffing around, his kidney and his bladder were wired up wrong, they wired up back to front or something, Jeez. and um and he had to go into Great Ormond Street, and he, my wife stayed in there. He was in there for like a week or so, and they were cutting mm. him open. You know, he's a baby, year old. You know that. Yeah, that's scary. Yeah. Year old, it's a baby, and they're cutting it open, and we were terrified. And you go in, and Great Ormond Street is an amazing place, but. And it's it's full of joy and happiness, but it's it's a hospital for kids. There isn't yeah, there is a slight yeah. air of sadness if you're a parent in there. Yeah, and I'd go in yeah. and visit him, and it would break my heart. And um and they fixed him. And I think he had his. This was like five years ago. He had his last checkup um in March because they were checking him every six months. And, and then they said he's fine. He's fine now. Don't have to come back. If he gets a urine infection, take him to A and E. But he's fine, mm. and they—it's amazing what they could do. And now, uh, and now, five years later, Sam, it's really hard for me to remember what what a concern it was, what a worry it was, was because because yeah, yeah. you know, and and the same will happen with you and your family, I'm it, sure. There was a lot, a lot of people. We go on these forums. My wife goes on these forums and stuff, and she's you know she's talking to all these other parents. They're going through. And there's a lot of kids going through. Yeah, a hell of a lot worse. Well, than what they're going through. But, but it's, I mean, it's the first child. Yeah, trying for six years to have her. And so, oh God. Just, well, uh, yeah, yeah. And, and there's also I don't buy that thing of there's people going through us it, it, it doesn't it doesn't well, make it any easier it relative, it, yeah. Yeah. but be warned be warned sam right because now like my youngest boy who it happened to geez the number of times you've had to take him to hospital not because of his, his kidney bladder thing just because he's he's nuts <laughs> and i think once i think once they've got a taste of hospital they're like they're not afraid of it, so they catch they're just the yeah. they're just risk taker. You're right. They catch the hospital one. He's just a risk taker, and he's he, 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 he jumped off a climbing frame too high and fractured his foot. He slipped over in the bath and ripped open mm-hmm. his chin. He's constantly going to hospital. So is that, is, me, is that more boys? Do you find that's more boys than girls? Or oh, no, I've got my second one is a nut job as well. I, he's a girl. I, 
not well i think it's probably more second so you've got that if you if you do have a second child you've got that to look forward to i think it is more of a second thing yeah because they look at the big one and go yeah i've seen that done i probably can do that <laughs> yeah. and they don't realize they're teeny like <laughs> it's not it's not boys yeah. mate though you you you're gonna get it with girls trust me yeah. <laughs> she's, she's getting a lot confident now and she's got this cast on they said that she she, she pretty much she'll be sort of like you know sat doing she might be able to, you know she'll lie down she might even start crawling using just her arms because the legs are completely yeah. Yeah. you know all, all, all sort of thrown up so, um, oh, well, actually, best of luck. She's actually started flipping over and standing up and all sorts now. Oh, <laughs> mate. Yeah, it's a little bit crazy. It's like they're saying Jurassic crazy. Park, nature finds a way. Yeah. Oh, well, be best <laughs> of luck with it, Sam. I we'll keep no, our fingers crossed right, yeah. in three weeks. Yeah. What, did, what did you call in for? Oh, yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was listening to some of the calls that just come by. It's, uh, it's probably pretty meaningless, but I, I only ever listen to the podcast. And I listen, I'm a truck driver and I get up early hours in the morning and you, and you, you keep me company for some oh. of the first few deliveries. Nice one, And man, thank um, you. I love listening, love listening to the show, honestly. The, the sort of like the hot and cold of calls. It, it's, it's so sort of like, you know, intriguing each one. You never know what you're going to get. And, yeah. I really enjoy it. The only, the only, the only negative I've got is that it's too short. Mm. I mean, you know, podcast, I I, yeah. I it's a request to Kath, really, because I, I think Kath, I think you did a podcast, don't you, Kath? I make them, but I've, I've been given strict instructions. They've got to be half an hour, but I've been sneaking ah, some, I've been sneaking yeah. some longer ones in the bonus ones. Oh, please, yeah, if you can try and extend it. I'm, can I? Because half an hour's not enough, and there's more adverts now as well, isn't there? Yeah. Oh, um, <laughs> can I? Hang on a minute. I'm going to give you a website that you may or may not. Um, no, hang on a minute. Let me just. Let me just. Oh, hang on a minute. Why can't I find it? Ian Lee, let's try this. www.ianleevault. There's a website that, um, I don't, I have no idea who runs it. I don't know anything about it. Um, here we go. It's there. Have you been to ianleevault.com? I haven't, no. Right. No. Go there, because there's some of the old shows from here. Keep this, keep this, because this is hooky, right? I've yeah. got no idea who does it. But there are some old <laughs> shows from here where it's the full show, right? Up until about September of last year, you can get the full shows of, of, of stuff. Okay. And there's loads of LBC stuff and there's loads of absolute stuff. But there's loads of stuff in there. So you might find is that, some... Is that downloadable? Mm -hmm. is it? It's oh. all downloadable, yes. Um, and it's like, there's, there's loads of different stuff in there. Has so you got three county stuff on there? Three county stuff is on there, oh, WC, crikey, right. WCWM stuff. It's all there. So go and have a little look in there and you yeah, might I'll find some stuff to, 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 fill it. But yeah, the, the first, like, I guess it's, well, it's the first two and a half years of stuff here. It, the full shows are up there, apparently. So, go, I, ianleevault.com. Oh, I could do you some. I'll go and check that out. That's perfect. That'll keep you company. Yeah, uh, <laughs> nice uh, dark drives in hey, the morning. Thank you, man. And best best of luck with the little one. I'm, I'm one sure it'll be fine. Yeah, one go on. Thing. Brother, brothers and Os brothers Osborne. You recommended him about. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I, I heard them when I was in Australia. Absolutely love them. That day, that stay a little longer song has become like man and the missus anthem. Oh. We, we can't stop playing it ever since you, you mentioned it. Right? I, I sort of downloaded some and I've listened. Mate, yeah, I've got the awesome. biggest grin on my face. That is the I, I, I'm quite moved by that. That's oh, thank you, man. That's really really lovely. Thank you. <laughs> it's, uh, it's the loudest song that I play on my uh, on my phone. I tell you, mm -hmm. it's an awesome song. I saw them when I was in the hotel in Australia. I watched the country music awards and I and I was I was saw them and you I was blown. Did you? Uh, yeah, I was blown. Uh, no, not live. It was on the telly. I was I was stuck in a hotel. Oh, right. Right, so. And I was blown away by them, brothers Osborne. Oh, that's really great, man! I'm glad that you've, you you got something oh, out of that. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's very good. Thank you, Sam. Thank you very much. Take care, yeah, man. Oh, so I've, I've, I've cut him off. Sorry, so I've cut you off. Sorry, Sam. That was that's it. That was, sorry, that was, he was nice, wasn't he? Oh, nice lads. He'll turn. They always <laughs> turn. <laughs> I don't think he will. Hello, Ray. Oh, hang on. Okay, no, we won't. If you're, it sounds like you're on the lavvy. It's Roger. <laughs> Shagapony. Yeah, Shagapony. Roger. Roger. Oh, Roger. Roger, have you love. have you called in to boast, mate? I don't. Well, I have not called in to admit what I admitted on Twitter. When Roger was a young man, he used to be able, so able, to get his dick and put it onto the table, the table, then he would leave forward he would open up his mouth and he would put his own penis inside his mouth whoa roger gave himself a bj he gave himself a bj roger gave himself a bj 
every day for a year. Uh, I'm not as flexible as I used to be. But you used to do that, man. Outrageous. No, Roger by name. <laughs> BJ I'm not, I'm not into editing in that, so. Is that why I'm going to say something? I've played um, uh, video games with Roger. He's a cheat. <laughs> Roger has confessed to me that he's, um, he's, um, visually challenged. Yes. Oh, no, come on. Is the, is there a connection? Nah. Okay, well, just, well, we can talk, we can strike that one off the list. Carry on doing it, boys. <laughs> oh, dear, but no, uh, that ad break was the most I've laughed in a while. <laughs> I, um... <laughs> Uh, yeah, I was th- I was thinking all the way through. I was like, I'm not sure the advertiser will quite like this. <laughs> <laughs> I've no idea what you're talking about. Um, uh, I can never play. I can never. Um, I can never ever play Overwatch ever again because of the new, <laughs> the new character. Chad No, because because of what they've done to to Symmetra. I can never play it again. I, I played it once and I went, this is crap. I'll have to show you. No, I don't want you to show me your cheats. I'm with Symmetra than what I used to be. Yeah, because they've made her really, really, they've dumbed her down. She still holds a thingy. No, but she holds a different thingy. And she's got, like, loads of teleporters, but they they just make you cross the street quicker. Yes, but you can, you're like Divas Ultimate, you know, with her exploding mech, you can 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 shoot that through it. Whoops, whoop-dee-doo. Whoop de doo. And it's a terrible. Turret, uh, turrets are lethal. A terrible game, mate. <laughs> turrets are lethal. I'll have to teach you. <laughs> um, you're talking about uh, The Rock, Dwayne Johnson. Yes. And I know, I know I said this on Twitter as well. Anybody that slags off The Rock needs to watch Moana. Um, uh, I, yeah, I've not seen that. Is it good? It is fa- He He's got a great pair of lungs. He's got a fantastic oh. singing voice. Oh. Is it cultural appropriation? Polynesian. Oh, is he? Mm-hmm. Oh, he's is he? What's that got to do with it? The fella in the movie's Hawaiian. <laughs> I'm not. Well, tell him off, Kath. Uh, aye, aye, aye. Aye. You'll do it better than me. I am looking forward to Incredibles two, Incredibles two, Incredibles two. Yeah. I can't wait to see Incredibles two, but I think a family friend is taking my kids instead of me. I think I might just do that. I think I might just do that. Nothing, emba- nothing embarrassing like in animation. Absolute, that's, that's some of my favourite films are animation. Look at Inside Out, if you've seen that. Look at, yeah, Inside Out's not a kid's film. I took the kids to see that, and they're like, well, and it's, that's an adult, psychedelic, LSD-inspired film about neuroses. The best new animation is Coco. Coco's a great movie. Yep. Oh, my great God. movie, great movie, great movie. Adore Coco. Oh, I love Coco. Great movie. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not ashamed to admit this. I'm almost, I'm 43 in a couple of weeks, Sounds and longer. I cried like a baby. You need to man up, man <laughs> up. Crying at a cartoon for kids. Next, you'll be crying at Scooby Doo. Uh, Scooby Don't. Oh. Then as for, is Chuck Winkle on Twitter? Um, I don't think he is, for religious reasons, but I, I, I cannot be sure. I'm sure if Chuck is listening, he will let us know one way or another. I know it was, it was extremely strange. Mm. It was extremely strange earlier, but I'm, I'm not saying that, I'm not saying that David Babcock and Chuck Winkle are the same person. Well, why would you say that? They call in on different numbers. <laughs> <laughs> and from different faces. Different voices. What are you talking about? Different persons. Roger, I'm going to cut you off. Yeah, no. he's gone. Um, Jerry next, then Ray, the late night alternative on Talk Radio. Talk Radio. What a show tonight! <laughs> <laughs> Why are you singing the Tiger Chiefs in the voice of Scooby Doo? There's a match on, like a powerful striker with his McCulloch Lou. He has the power to get the job done, cutting the lawn down to size well before the pre-match build-up, oh, leaving it looking good enough to host the cup no. final. <laughs> get your McCulloch Lawn Mower and other yeah. modern power tools at good DIY what stores that? nationwide Can or at McCulloch.com. McCulloch, the power to get the job done. Do you hear that? What's up, Zoom's your right? 
He ate the pig's oh, vagina! Have you thought we like the sweet sound of nothing, too? That's why we have a 0% APR representative on Ford options across our country, including the all-new Fiesta Active Crossover. Visit your nearest market today. He ate the pig's vagina! Oh, God, I'm sorry. 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 I'm sorry
the, the mother would get a payout. Yep. Which, but, again, not ideal, but at least she'd have some money to raise the child, but, yeah, they were different times. These are, those are different times. Those are different times. Anyway, Ray, what you got? Um, I've got a question for you. Okay. Here we go. You might have heard this before, because I, I mentioned to a friend earlier, and she'd heard it before, but I, uh, I heard it for the first time this morning. Okay. What would you rather face in a fight? 100 duck-sized horses. Yeah, I've heard this before. Oh, have you? Yeah, Or one horse-sized duck. Um, well, but why are, you, why are you fighting them? Because that's just it. It's, it's one or the other. You've got no choice. They're, they're coming for you. Ducks and horses are both fly animals, aren't they, rather than fight animals? No, they, I don't think, I don't oh, think horses don't know, can fly. Have you, have, you, have you gone up against a duck? If you corner them, they're... they're ducks them, and... Ducks are... Ducks are pussies. Why are you cornering ducks, Ray? <laughs> See, this is, this is... This is different, Catherine. Catherine used to be so nice. Now she's gone... She's turned... Well, we know what she Caller never... said yesterday, and, and that, that guy's on the naughty list. Oh, oh no, I'd never have said that. I, seriously, mm. I, I was about to swear, but I'm glad I didn't. Um... You've been drinking a bit, Ray. You're slurring a little bit tonight. You're a little bit boozed up, aren't you? Oh, yes, I... man! He's drunk! <laughs> Ray is drunk. Ray is so <laughs> drunk. He's drunk, drunk. Flipping drunk. <laughs> No, I've been, on, I've been on the course a week, so obviously I have to have a few yeah, drinks. Yeah, of course you don't get boosted up. Go and, go and get, um, you know, an environmentalist pregnant without her knowledge. All right. I don't think the prison officers are doing that. No, no, no. Well. Prisoners, they get pregnant. Exactly. Exactly. I'm, I, I'm, I'm out with a friend. Okay, great. I don't know what that means. I think that's a euphemism, and uh, I'm, I'm, I, hope, I wish you and him all the best luck. In the world, oh three four 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 nine nine one thousand is the phone number. Call straight to air for the lot. What are you doing? Where are you bring your head in for a button, Holly? Get back! Get back away from the buttons. This is Talk Radio. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, Earthlings. We come in peace. We wish to communicate with your leader. I'm now at here. Join me tomorrow night from ten. You'll be like warm at the limits. Own twist the lid on Talk Radio Specimen Jar of the Psychic, the Supernatural, and the Simply Unexplained. The Unexplained. How we do this? Tomorrow easy. night from ten. Earth time on Talk Radio. A radio show for people who know the yeah, best yeah, yeah. part of the day well, is the night. The Late Night Alternative with Ian Lee on Stop. Talk Radio. We'll get you talking. Passive's angry with him on, on Twitter. Okay. Horses are flight animals. Horses have been used in, used in war for over 3,000 years. They must be tired. Turn the music! Just did a bit of radio and you didn't have the microphones on! Oh my god. What the hell? You he told her to leave off the buttons. I'm gonna, she's gonna, um, I'm gonna give Caddick her phone number. <laughs> it means you're gonna get sent pictures that you don't want. Uh, uh, my favourite caller, Kasif, is angry with you. Don't care. We've, we, we've kind of done this bit already, but we'll do it again. He says horses are flight animals? Yes. Horses have been used in, used in war for over 3,000 years. Yeah, and they put blinkers on them. Next. Sorry? Yeah, they put blinkers on them. Yeah, because okay. otherwise their natural reaction is to scarper, which oh. is why you don't zoom up a horse's jacksy when you're on the road. Okay. Because they'll go nuts. Okay, but they've still been used in war for over 3,000 yes. years. Yes, poor horses. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. bad for us, bad so, animals. So, th how many, do you know the, the Trojan horse of, uh, the Greek horse of Troy? Yeah, it, was, it wasn't How many one. men were inside a horse? And how did they get in? It's like an army mm. inside a horse. Yeah. That's outrageous. Mm. That's dis so, it, so cool, though, aren't they? The Greeks. The them, yeah. So they they climbed inside a horse and yeah. waited. Yeah, left it outside Jeez. on its own. Well, it wasn't on its own, was it? Well, no, it had men inside it. I mean, I, if that's a true story, and I have no reason to doubt the Greeks, they're a fine, noble um, race. They invented stories. Um, yeah, that's true, man. Um, call straight to air. Except for Kasif, we, we've had enough of him. No, he's my favourite caller. Kasif, oh. you call in, mate, and if there's anyone on the line, we'll, we'll cut him off and we'll go straight to you, oh. buddy. Favourite caller. Funny guy, strong views, uh, well thought out views. Um, great guy, I like him. Um, what's tomorrow for you? Tomorrow for me is, I've got the kids all day because it's a cricket day. So, um, 
I'll probably start drinking about 11. Eee, <laughs> come I'm on, joking. That's not, that's I'm not joking. even, mate. That's not I'm even. Joking. That's not even. I'm joking. It'll that. be about 10. Oh. No, I'm joking. No, come on. I won't be drinking. Until midday. Now, I'm joking. I won't. I'll probably take them to the uh, pictures. I might go and see Incredibles. Two. Two. Yeah. Um, I'm going to the theatre to take the boys to the theatre. Get you. See a, see a live show. What's this show of? It's called... Uh, it's based on it's a called String Fellows. Book. Don't be, don't be so, 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 don't be so um, mistrustful. Yeah. It's based on a book by is it Jacqueline Wilson? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, oh! just them. So, suddenly, somebody's interested in what I'm doing. Well, that's because my eldest hero worships Jacqueline Wilson. Well, then you should take her to go and see this play. It's in South London. It's good theatre. Polk, the Polka Theatre. Doing that, and then Sunday, I'm off. Me and Catherine off to see James Taylor and Paul Simon live in concert at uh, Hyde Park. They're going to be on, on in Hyde Park live in concert at Hyde Park. Uh, if, I don't know what n none of the websites will tell me what time James Taylor is on because I don't want to get there. I, 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 what I want to do is I want to stride into the Golden Circle, and just as I turn and face the stage, the voice goes, "Ladies and gentlemen, James Taylor," and then he he walks out. That's what I don't want. I don't want. Any faffing around, or any Bonnie Raitt, or any of these other people that are playing. Bonnie Raitt's all right. Name a Bonnie Raitt song. She did. Oh, oh I can actually. Okay. Can't, uh, I can't. I can't make you love me. Okay, we will talk about that in a minute. Let's name name a Bonnie Raitt song. Um, okay, name. She a did it before George Michael did. I didn't know George Michael did it. Yeah, he did. From that rubbish songs from the Century album. No. What rubbish album that was? Terrible. Um, I three four 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 nine nine. Thousand. You're disappointed that I knew a Bonnie Raitt song, aren't you? Hey, here's, here's a kid phoning up pretending to be from America, probably just going to say the M word to us, oh. shall we? Hello, person pretending to be from America. What can we do for you? <laughs> hey, busted, buddy. Busted. We can tell when it's a fake America phone call, so um, you got to try a little bit harder than that, because I don't know any American phone number that goes for... Z oh, I'm going to read out their phone number because right? that's, that's how confident I am. This is a made up phone number. Four zero 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 zero. I don't think that's a gen if I've just given out someone's genuine mobile phone, home phone number in the United States. I apologize. I got a feeling that's a fake number. Do you think? Fake news. Fake news. Fake news. They're on. Um, they, they think they're on air now. They're probably. They'll probably be talking away, but no, they don't know that they're. There we go. You see, they're talking away. Oh, they think they're on air. They don't know how it works. Try again. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> you stay there as long as you want, guys. You, you stay there as long as you want, Divvy. That's right. The TV agony aunt. This is a complaint made to Ofcom. Oh dear. Right? We like them. A TV agony aunt suggested a viewer's hubby was off sex as he was romping with their dog. Can you find the clip of this? What, what, what? Go what? to YouTube. Agony Anna recommended, it's North East Live, Agony uh, Anna recommended the wife splash out <laughs> at Anne Summers in case he had a fetish. The comments were aired in March at 6.20 on North East Live, a show on local network made in Tyne and Weir. Um, uh, that can't... Anna. No, it probably won't be on YouTube, because no, no one watches those local channels. No one watches... Let's see this guy's... But is, oh, is, is, oh, there's some her video he, videos here. Hang on, let's see if these guys are still here. <laughs> there we go, they're still there. Here we go. What do you want? Um, my friend is a nightmare. Lovely new girl on reception. My man stays up all night. Or I like my girlfriend's sister. Romping with a dog. Oh, let's have I like my girlfriend's sister. Because that's a problem that all fellas have... Uh... My job to solve all your problems, big or small. There you go. Bring, bring, bring it over. Give it over. Give it over. Girlfriend for two years, she's great, and I wouldn't change her for the world. Oh, cute! But I can't get something out of my mind. But I'll change her for her sister. Oh, wow. Her sister Katie is three years younger than her, flirty fun, and shall we say, has a couple of big reasons to be flirty and Bosoms. Oh. When my girl and I are close, Katie's all I can think about. I feel it's like it feels like a bad habit I can't shrug off. Help. She's about nine, I this mean, kid. 
can we just take a second to appreciate that you've emailed into Agoniana to tell me that you're actually, essentially, totally crushing and vibing off your girlfriend of two years' his sister. I mean, I don't know about you, but I would be devastated if my other half was having thoughts of my sister while we were together, because in all fairness, that's just really weird. Doesn't sound to me like it's going anywhere, if I'm honest. Um, absolutely, categorically, Steve. do not make any moves on that sister until you figure out what's going on in that relationship. You shouldn't be having those kind of constant thoughts about somebody's sister. Yeah, you can turn around and say that, oh yeah, she's fit, or she's good looking to your friends, not to Katie. Um, but like, I, I don't think you need, I don't make a play on that, absolutely for sure. Do not make a play on it. Make some real, figure out whether or not you have a She's girlfriend in three years that you, actually, who you want to be with. It might be that in a couple of months after you break up, you potentially say to Katie, but you would be an absolute home wrecker if you made any moves on that sister while you're still in that relationship. So figure it out. But that in other words, I don't know. I don't know. I'm out of my depth. Let's take, um, let's take line two. Good evening, line two. Oh, uh, Smudge here. Hey, Smudge, we've not spoken hey. for ages. How you doing, mate? It's been a long time. It's, it's... Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Sorry? Just, uh, late night, uh, back, back your knees, mate. Oh, man, don't, because I'm yeah, tempted to get uh, one on the way home. But we had a Byron Burger, we had a Byron Burger tonight. You did what? Catherine and I had a Byron Burger. They're like, um, bespoke burgers. Well, I've never heard of them, mate. You get, um, they do ma macaroni cheese balls. <laughs> yes, I did! I did, we were celebrating. I found out today I'm moving into my new house in two weeks, Smudge! Congratulations! Do you want to come? Why don't you come? We've already got Tony, the chemtrail conspiracy is coming. Why don't you come and play a bit of PS4 with us? Oh, yeah, I'd love to, mate. Oh. I haven't got a PS4. Though. No, I've got one. Oh, it's just coming round your house? Yes, mate! <laughs> you must be joking, mate. I am joking. Not, like. not a chance. <laughs> not a chance. Anyway, listen, I'm in the van. Huh? Um, I'm with Dave. Say hello, Dave. 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 That's Dave. Okay, hello, Dave. Yes. Hello, Dave. Um, yes. We've been on the late night excursion. Where have you been? Not potholing. Vanulated, apparently, Dave said. Oh, vanulation. Have you ever, have no. you ever vanulated? I don't know. Is, is that like ovula ovulation for men? I have no idea, mate. Anyway, I, I took it into me, me muck, nu muck nuggets. <laughs> me muck nuggets. Oh, that's, that's... I hope you're not driving, Smudge. You sound steaming. No, 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 don't drink, mate. I haven't drunk for 15 years. Smudge, did you hear, oh, you're oh. like this, did you hear the chant? that some people were chanting at Donald Trump today? Uh, no, I didn't. Hang on. I've got, I've got a mouthful of McNugget. Well, shall me and Kath sing it? Obviously, we'll miss the last word off. We'll sing it and see if you... Oh, this no. is what the people were chanting. I thought this was so funny. Hey, hey, baby. Ooh, ah, I want to know why you're such a C. Really? Really? <laughs> Yes, they did. Amazing. It's, that is. it's a good one. That I love it? that song. It's a good I love song. That song. Good song. Who, who did that song originally? DJ Otzi. DJ Otzi. What, what idiot that guy was. So, yes. I don't know. He, used he to... wasn't the original bloke who did it. You know who did it originally? Then somebody else did it. All right, mate. Calm down. He's getting a bit punchy, isn't he? It's them nuggets. Go. You're having a nugget rush, mate. I'll tell you what, mate. These nuggets. Yeah. They're blooming good. Are you having a nugget yeah, rush, Dave, mate? You want a nugget, Dave? Dave, you want a nugget? He's got the McRage. Yeah, you, d Smudge, you got to just slow down with the, n the nuggets, mate. It's giving you nugget oh, rage. I'm sorry. I'm terribly sorry. You okay? I think you do. Have apologies. Some Accepted. Yeah, apologies for that. Accepted. Look, I'll just we're not following you for a while. Yeah. And uh, we're we're out and about. Yeah. We're listening listening to the show. Yeah. And, uh, just wanted to say, very good. <laughs> very hey, good show, mate. Thank you, uh, thank you, Smudge. Will you take care, mate? Like, Catherine's very good as well. She's not bad. <laughs> Do you know what? Better, better than you. Right. Get stuff. Dave's better than you, as a caller. 
Cut those losers off, uh, idiots. Hello, line three. Yes, my name is Phil. I'm calling from uh, Naperville, Illinois. Okay, Phil? Literally from Naperville. Okay. Okay, uh, fairly well known. I'm in the American press a lot. Right. Uh, so, you know, and, and, and I'm calling to pick a bone with not only you, uh, but all the British people. Okay, this, this is... This and is... yes, I'm a Trump... But yes, I am a Trump supporter. <laughs> I'm not going to say no to that. I'm not going to say no to that. I'm a Trump supporter. I'm not going to say no to that. I support Trump. I He's my president. I'm not going to say no to that. That's right. Yes. That's right, buddy. <laughs> That's right, buddy. I'm going to kick your ass. I was actually born in Brooklyn, New York. Uh, before <laughs> <laughs> that explains it. Oh, say can you... Come on, let's hear it. Thank you. Let's hear it. Thank you. Though. Let's hear it. Oh, say can you see by the dawn thirdly light. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh, you're making me laugh a lot, yeah. man. Go on. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you're uh, welcome, man. A lot of people say I'm a comedian. Yeah, you're a funny guy. They're just busting your balls. Uh, you got it, girl. You got it. <laughs> bada boom, bada bing. Seriously, I admire the UK. I admire the British people. You put out great entertainment products in the seventies. <laughs> That's how we have old I am. Uh, I, I watched UFO Space nineteen ninety nine from ITC Television. You know, um, <laughs> the Benny Hill. We love the guys. Benny Hill show. Benny Hill's a crazy guy. Yeah, I like that too. You bet you, buddy. <laughs> no, but seriously, let's have a serious conversation. Okay, let's have serious. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. All right. Mm -hmm. President Trump, come to your nation. Thank you. Why all the protests? You know, he's right. the elected president of the American people. Yeah. Well, we selected him. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And I have a funny, you know, and, and anything to me that's pushing back against globalism is a good thing. Okay. But they're just exercising... Um, the, the uh, right freedom of speech, which is something that you Americans right. are pretty big on. Oh, we love that. Yeah. That's right. But you but know? you're criticizing our freedom of speech. What the hell is that about, man? I don't know. You're right about that. I mean, you have a right to protest in Britain, obviously. And no one got shot up today. That's something. Nobody was pepper bowl, pepper sprayed, arrested. I think that was a good thing. I, I think that was a great thing. Nobody got their guns out and shot out of people in this crowd. Nothing happened, man. No one got billy clubbed. As long as Antifa stays out of it, I think you'll be fine. Okay, man. Well, I, I really enjoyed your call. you got to give us a call again sometime, man. I will, buddy. I will. Thanks take, a lot. Take care, man. Thanks a lot. <laughs> I don't know who that was. It said Illinois, and it was a real American phone number. Mm. So either I, I told those kids how to how to take it. If it did, though, that was a great call. That was a great call, wasn't it? That's my favourite call of the month. Well, he, let's not go that far. He Come was on, funny. Man. I was hoping he would sing the whole anthem. I'm surprised he did as much as he could. <laughs> I'm surprised. Maybe he was real. He was brilliant. He wasn't a real Trump supporter. He had a sense of humour. <laughs> I enjoyed that. I like it when they're a mystery. I love it. Uh, we've got another ten minutes or so. Martin Kellner's on at one. Very, very silly show from us tonight. Um, this is the Late Night Alternative on Talk Radio. Across the oh, UK. I thought that was on brilliant. And on DAB. <laughs> the radio <laughs> star is born. <laughs> to talk Radio. <laughs> At Ford, we prefer to listen to a different kind this of... Is, this has been a good old show tonight. Customers, which but when I get home, I will think it's been Ford shit, all right? It's still as hard-working, versatile, and reliable as the rest of the transit, but it's now available with new optional features, including pre-collision assist... Then I think real hard, know that I was good, but the shit bit was your bit. ...life traffic and a Wi-Fi hotspot wherever you are. So whether you Cause I'm really bolts, good at radio, I know just what to do. Ford.
together we go far. I saved Cass and every night as she screws it up for me. Think and act fast. You dick. Has it fallen on You dick more than me. A. No, I don't. Can they raise them? S. Speech. Is it smurred? T. Time to dial 999. The faster you act, the better their chances. So even if you're not sure, act fast. Make the call. Dial 999. At Wix, right now, there's 15% off all paint, including great brands like Julox. Visit us in store or online at wix.co.uk. This is the sound of a broken boiler. And having to fork out for a new one. And it's fucking ruined. It's ruined my bag. Let's free credit. It's not I thought you should have hit it. I forgot about it. new boiler feels good. Then it's all over this. Search British Gas New Boiler. I've been in my bag and I've got a bum hole. The late night alternative with Lee on Talk Radio. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, guys. The end of the show's coming up now, guys. This is the bit we've all been waiting for. It's nearly the end. This is the end, beautiful friend, the end. That's not a bad Jim Morrison impression. No, he was sexy though, wasn't he? This is the end, beautiful <laughs> friend, the end, my only friend, the end. It's a bit more Scott Walker, actually. No, it's not actually. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. All right, so let's, let's find out. Hang on, let's listen. YouTube, this is the... So you remember what I was doing, right? Okay, then we'll listen How to... How could I ever forget? Um, oh, look, my um, Keith and the Girl video has got more views than everyone else's. Yeah, right. all you. <laughs> Sammy, baby. The doors, the end. <sighs> this is the end. Beautiful friend, the end. There you go, exactly the same as mine. Someone get the orchidometer out. This is the end, beautiful friend, the end, my only friend, the end. Here we go. Skip, skip the beginning because it goes on for ages. Do -lo -lo -lo. Do -lo -lo -lo. Do -lo -lo -lo. Do -lo 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 -lo. Do -lo 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 -lo. Terrible band the doors. Do -lo 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 -lo. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Oh, yes, it sounds like me. Here we go. There we go. This is this is the end. For God's sake. Here we go. All right, so it starts there. Here we go. <coughs> oh, gee. Oh, this one is uh, this one's, uh, Hello, caller. Hi, Ian. Hi, Kat. Hey. Hello. Now I know you know who this is. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Wait, it's Jerry! Oh my gosh, yeah, you got it. I've, what are you guys doing? I have got it. Um, yes, I, 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 I got it. I got your email the other day, Jerry. It's great to hear from you from Southern California, SoCal. Um, yeah, we could. You know what? I thought. Hmm? Sorry? Yes, no, go on. You, I'm going to be. There's a slight delay, so I'm going to be quiet and you're going to speak. Go. Okay. I just thought I heard the other caller before. I just thought, thought I'd call and end the show with another American calling. <laughs> this is this is this show is more popular in the states than it, it is in my own house that I paid for. So this is <laughs> this is in, this is incredible scenes. Uh, did you think that other caller was was genuinely American, Jerry? We couldn't tell. He sounded like it. He did, didn't he? She she would know. She lives there. She speaks to well, them. Well, it's a big place, and there are a lot of accents, and I think you could probably get away with it more. I I would like to. Yeah. Now, when I go to America with the boys in a couple of, uh, uh, in a month, I'm going to do something I've never done before. I'm going to spend an afternoon pretending to be an American. Oh, they would love that. Oh, uh, but but they won't. This is the thing. I don't think they'll know. My American accent, my New York accent. <laughs> oh, my God. What don't do you, that one. What the hell are you talking about, you talkie? What? You talkie. What? You talk a turkey. Oh, a turkey. Talkie. Turkey. What are you th Hey, I'm a cowboy. And I come from Texas, and I got. I like uh, a burger and fries. 
Texas, they talk more like that. Oh, shut up. What do you know? <laughs> tell, uh, tell her I'm right, Jerry, please. What was that? Yeah, you exactly. Tell, tell, you know, tell you know, my lady friend. You do a friend. really good job. Go on. You know what? You do a really good job um, um, talking uh, American with American accent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do. Thank you. Thank you, Jerry. And you, and you, you, um, you do a really good job of talking with an American accent as well. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, hi, Kath. Hey. How are you? I'm okay. I'm okay. So what's been going on in Southern California today? Well, it's really hot right now. And that's about it. Everybody's <laughs> kind of just staying in and running their air conditioning. Oh, yeah. We need that. No, we don't. Look, the summer's over here. It finished tonight. It's really clammy. It, did, we, was there, we've had storms tonight, but not very good ones. We no, need a big one. Disappointing. Storms? Yeah. Is it warm over there or cold? Warm. Too warm. Sweaty. It's warm? Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> it's getting hot in here. So, Kath, take off your clothes. She is getting so hot, I've told her to take her clothes off. Incredible. Incredible behaviour. <laughs> That's a good one. I'm so sorry about my colleague. That was actual sexual harassment and it felt good. It's innate in my DNA. You want to look at my DNA? No, thanks. Okay. What, what? I love watching you guys because you guys are so funny. Yeah, I am, aren't I? <laughs> um, what are you doing this weekend, Jerry? Nothing. Oh, I love it. That's perfect. Nothing. I don't... I don't yeah, I don't really go out out too much in the, with the crowds. I'm not really a crowd crowd person. No, you like you like hanging out on your own, don't you? And I get that, and I think that that is absolutely fine. And um, if that's what works for you, then that's what works for you, man. That's you like to hang out on your own, don't you? I do hang out. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Uh, listen, Jerry. Yeah, we... Whatever you know. Go on, quick, very quickly, because then we're going to go. Know, go on. You got... Okay, you guys have a good weekend. Oh, well, okay. T you take care, Joyce. Always lovely to hear from you, and I love your emails. Thank you very much indeed. Take care, Tata. Got some bad news for you, Catherine. Oh, God. Uh, what now? That James Taylor is on at 5.40. No. Yeah, mate. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, no. Somewhere, that's what, 5.50, says Stephen Giles. No, 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 And no. you can't be there for that. Uh, and also, you, well, here's the thing. You have to, I'm not missing James Taylor for you, right? And I have to go in with you because I've got the tickets on my phone. And once I'm in, I can't come out. There's no re-entry. <sighs> so, right, right, right. Okay, well, okay. You hear that, Stephen? Oh, he's gone. So... Is that true? It's according to Stephen Giles. On, why, why do you trust Stephen Giles? He's a great... Stephen's a great guy. He's got 201 followers. Hashtag team artist. I, I, I trust this guy. I trust this guy's opinion. One guy off Twitter. I trust this guy. It makes sense, man, because they've got to be finished by 10.30. So he, so Paul Simon would have gone at 8.30. There'll be 45 minutes in between. Yeah, it makes sense, man. Oh. I'm not missing James Taylor for you, mate. So if that means you missed the... Co sit in, Martin. Sorry, you come <laughs> in the middle of a domestic. If that means, <laughs> if that means you, missed, you missed the entire concert, well, so be it. And then you can pay me for the ticket that I bought for you. Yeah. I'm not missing I'm not missing James Taylor for you. Hi Martin. Hi. Good evening, Martin. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening. I, uh, you know, I feel embarrassed coming in the middle of all this. Don't be embarrassed. Give me twenty seconds. Stephen, are you the Stephen that just tweeted me? That's right, yeah. We like we've got thirty seconds because then Martin's gonna sell his show tonight's <laughs> show. But very <laughs> quickly, oh, yes, is yeah. James Taylor's definitely on at five fifty, is he? Yeah, ten to six, that's right. How do you know this? Uh, it's on the app. Have you got the app? I haven't got the app. Ah, uh, right. That's what you need to do. And how much um, of, of you... a how much of a bad friend is Catherine if she m makes me miss James Taylor? That's pretty bad. No, I'm afraid. And very quickly, uh, Stephen, are you in are you in the golden circle? I'm afraid not. No. Oh, in that case, Stephen, you won't be bumping into me on Sunday night. I'm afraid I'll, that's where I'll be. I don't want to be around people like that. Martin, what's on your show? Yes, this I had a ticket for that myself, actually. Um, Did you? Yeah, is this Paul Simon, James Turner, and Bonnie Raitt? Yeah, yeah Sunday. I a ticket, but I'm I can't go, unfortunately. Oh no! Yeah, I have to get back home. Me, for, neither uh, can Catherine. Yeah. I can. I can. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've got the trip. Well, we're talking about to a caver about the uh, rescue. Obviously, there's a lot of stuff about Trump's visit. We're in Australia. That rescue is what a story, man. That's they they, they, drugged, they drugged the kids yes, to know. get them, amazing. It, it and the teacher. 
The teacher didn't lead them in there. He saw their bikes lent up against the cave, so he went in to investigate and see what was going on. It's an incredible story. It's a brilliant story. And we're, we're looking at that with, with some nutter who, who, who does all that stuff. <laughs> uh, we're also... Uh, <laughs> I've done that We're talking about Fortnite. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Good game. Is, uh, Good game. Uh, is it? Do you play yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. I, 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 not much. My kids like it. I play it, but it's a good game. It's a phenomenon, though, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's yeah. become hugely successful yeah. even more because it was the same as some other game that w w wasn't as popular before. But it's all about... But, but, Martin, we have to end it there. Yes, OK. Um, awesome. He'll be on at one. We'll yeah. be back on Monday. Ta-ta. Talk radio. It's, um, it's talk a good old game. But the, it's um, mainly building. They haven't mentioned that it's all about building more than fighting.